Content warning. Ladies and gentlemen, the following podcast is not suitable for all audiences, and viewer slash listener discretion is advised. For example, if, when you just heard the term ladies and gentlemen, you immediately thought about how exclusionary it is, then it's probably best you turn this off now. Can you rewind it so Garrett has to watch it, please? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty squeamish. Uh. Yeah, well, oh, I'm a little Garrett. No, why? Is, why? Why? No. <laughs> That's not funny. That's just horrible. It's quite funny watching you watch it. Hello, welcome to Dead Man Talking with me, Rob Mulholland, and F A T C U N T. Find out what it means to me, fat cunt. <laughs> that was quite good, actually. Thanks, mate. Yeah, I just thought of that. I was quite pleased. Really? Yeah, just, just came up with that then. Yeah, yeah. That is probably the most talent I've ever seen you demonstrate. All right, thanks. We're and you built the studio. Yeah, we're sitting in the studio I built fucking from scratch. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Did you build it, though? Did I mean, you? I did, yes. Did you? It depends what you mean by built. All right, well, I made the table, I made that piece of furniture, you know, I made stuff. Did you build it, though? I mean, I didn't build the building. Exactly, you didn't build it. Sure. You didn't build the studio. Right. So, I built it into a studio. Eh, no, I think it was always a studio deep down in our hearts. Right, okay, so it always it always was, but now it's transitioned what into you a did, studio. Really, what you did, really, it's transitioned into a studio. Yeah. Yeah, it identified as being a studio. Right, despite assume... it not being a studio in any way, shape or form. <laughs> no, right. but I don't think that that's important. I don't think that matters. Okay. I think what matters is how the studio wants to be and if the studio wants to be a studio. I don't know if it did want to be. It kind of resisted me in quite a lot of ways. <laughs> <laughs> like It wasn't like forthcoming. Like Drilling in the walls was not fun. What are we talking about? Is is this still a metaphor? No, I just I shagged the walls. <laughs> That's what happened. I fucked the walls. Why do you think I had to put so many pictures up? He's just got cock holes all behind him. Oh, uh, you get horny looking at those photos. Oh, who can resist? Yeah. Uh, glorious wall of demonetization. Anyway, we've got a fucking banging episode here. We've just filmed it, so one. we know it's dead good. It's a good one, this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we, we've we never said once before, oh, we've got a tough one here, don't listen to it. But this no, but this great. one's an extra good. This is extra yeah, good. Yeah, we've got it's, Garrett Millerick. He's, he's a great comedian. Fantastic at comedy. He's he is. one of my top five favourite comics. Fair. He's dead good. Uh, he's got a special on YouTube, which you should go watch after you've watched this episode, definitely, and check him out at the Edinburgh yeah, Festival, all that sort of there'll stuff. There'll be a link in the comments. Yes, and... And uh, if you enjoyed this episode, why not give me three quid? Uh, yeah, be a patron. It's patreon.com forward slash deadmentalkpod. Yeah. And it's £3 a month, which is the cheapest patreon tier in the game uh it's apart from our one pound tier which you can't be on sorry we sold them all uh yeah but we've always been the cheapest patients and we've always been full of like you get an extra episode every single week you get uh access to the discord servers a uh, bit where we keep all the videos yeah. you get um a, a extra content that we've made rob's punishment set and the live shows and, and stuff. you would not believe how much money freddie spends on food so we need it we need the money oh it's like feeding an elephant yeah isn't it? it is it's like that's a episode of the simpsons <laughs> stampy yeah we're gonna have to start charging kids for a little ride on you <laughs> he's such a prick uh but the thing is is if you if you do enjoy dead men talking the reason that we're able to uh put out content that is high quality that looks great like this is because of the donations of our patrons that's the sole they're reason not donations is... i don't like donations that sounds like they're giving us something we're, it's a trade it's a okay fair, you know we're selling them something because of the yeah. the money from our patrons you're I'll happy take with that, that? Yeah, yeah yeah i'll take it yeah it's semantics yeah i yeah. like a bit of semantics mate oh okay yeah. i'm sweet just enjoy them okay well yeah. i'm learning I'm more just having about... a little bit of fun with semantics what, what about it i'm learning more reasons to dislike you every day i know mate it's beautiful isn't it <laughs> um, how our relationship grows so, so if you do like this then again three quid a month it and also seek help it's not it's not a lot for you but it goes a long way for us and fun fact me and rob have yet to uh take out any money from this podcast yeah no i'm still broke uh because we keep spending it on studios and i keep demonetizing all the videos by saying cunt too early and i am going to ensure that rob is still broke no matter how much money that mm. you give there will always be something else that gets paid before rob does yeah, yeah we're yeah. gonna have solid gold cameras before rob gets even a quid out of this yeah I'll, uh, i'm looking forward to 
to it. We're going to be living the life. Oh, we're going to be blinged up. We're yeah. going to look like two American rappers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only... Massive big gold chains like with fucking those... prolapses on the end. <laughs> one of those guys on Cribs who you know, you're like, that isn't lasting. You've had one hit, mate. Yeah. You shouldn't be in the mansion. Yeah. Who the fuck is Young Thizzle and why has he got a 38 bedroom house? Young Thizzle? Yeah. Is this like, a, what, a rapper from the Highlands? <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake, young fizzle. And eat Paul, I got loads of butchers. <laughs> anyway, let's if we get into the episode. We told him everything we need to tell him. What was wrong with young fizzle? I, mm, it, it feels dodgy. Does it? Yeah, I just don't like it when you uh, interact in any way with uh, any culture that isn't uh, yours. But they spell young Y U N G. That's true, yeah. And yeah, fizzle, T H yeah. I double Z L E. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Still not being sold on this idea. I'm not sold, no. But tell you what I am sold on. A lovely episode with Garrett Millerick. Yeah. Enjoy it, mandem. Right. It's Garrett Millerick in the studio. Oh, oh I'm so excited. Yeah. Hi, mate. Hello, mate. Uh, yeah, this is... Um, so getting to do your new podcast, obviously your last podcast. Uh, unfortunately, Rob wasn't there for yeah. that quite harrowing morning in Runcorn. That was great. Yeah. We got uh, we got Garrett on uh, Pigoted, yeah, my yeah. old podcast. R.I.P. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we got him debating. What, what happened to it? it was such a good show. <laughs> yeah, Fre- Freddie pitched me. He goes, uh, he goes like, it was, basically the the whole thing is just like a couple of comics and an expert. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah sounds all right. I was doing hot water. But yeah, you come down to it. Get into the dressing room at hot water, and um, Paul Smith just like I said no, and I was like, who? Who is it tomorrow? He's like, he's got an anti-vaxxer yeah. who's like a cage fighter. And I was like... He asked me to do that one. I said no as yeah, well. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like the last fucking idiot who got the text message. Just like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll yeah, do that. Right, why not? Yeah. Because like when he said expert, the expert well ran dry pretty fucking quick. Sure. And it started just being any knobhead with an opinion. Yeah, yeah. But he was telling, he was telling me, he was just like, oh, yeah, I got a flat earther on and we got yeah. numbers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we got fucking numbers on that flat uh, Do you know what? I'm actually, if you want to come on this. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking loved him. He was brilliant. He yeah. was. We, we got him on, and we got him on with an astrophysicist, right? right. right. And he honestly, this guy was like, "Nah, I think differently to you. It's just opinions, isn't it?" Yeah, and the yeah. guy was like, "No." So, so there was a thing where the flat earther didn't believe that we'd been to the moon, right? Yeah. Thought that the moon landings. I mean, I flat. don't believe that you had. Like they don't have the capacity for that sort of weight movement, do they? But like the ancient Greeks, like this idea that there was a point in in history where people thought the Earth was flat is mm. is nonsense. Right. Um, the ancient Greeks knew exactly how big the Earth was, what the circumference. Did they measure was. it off like two poles? Yeah, and yeah. Measure so the curvature. The, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Measure the curvature of the Earth with with two poles, and, and went, the sun went around them, and they calculated the whole thing. So it's a bit like, oh, it was only on Christopher Columbus. Uh, yeah. It was only that when he found America. People, you know, uh, worked out. It's, it's complete. Shit. Well, uh, so so here's the thing, right? Is the guy didn't believe that we'd been on uh, that we'd been to the moon, sure. right? And it's a popular one. The though. astrophysicist yeah. went, "Well, we 100% have. Yeah. There's, a, goes, well, there's ha- a mirror on the moon. You could shoot a laser. That's exactly at. it. Yeah. Yeah. There's also, a the Russians and the Chinese would have mentioned it by now. Yeah, I reckon like, they would have been quite keen to yeah, blow yeah. that one up. Yeah, if, yeah, you, yeah. if you best someone in a, in a huge global race where you're like, beat you, and yeah. they can see that you didn't, they're, well, they're going to bring it up. Yeah. This is the thing. There is literally a series of mirrors, yeah. and a yeah. lot of observatories, they'll let you point lasers at the moon, yeah. and they'll ping straight back. Yeah. Yeah. And the guy was like, what? <laughs> and he yeah, went, yeah, you can literally go to Liverpool Observatory tomorrow, and you'll you, you can do it. Yeah, and he's like. Nah, they wouldn't have me there. They wouldn't have me doing that. And they went, they absolutely, they'd welcome they, you. They'd be yeah. delighted. They <laughs> yeah. really would. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, they, they would have such a yeah. laugh. What yeah, a yeah, great yeah, day yeah. at the museum that is, watching him, like, all his hopes and dreams be crushed. And also, you're one of the main demographics that they still need to get. Everyone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm chill. <laughs> I don't need the fucking moon laser. I'm like, I believe you, mate. Yeah, yeah, so, right, yeah. I saw the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, good enough for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. It was really fascinating chatting to the uh, Flat Earther, because what you'd happen is... It, it was kind of like trying to grab hold of a bar of soap. Yeah, yeah, sure. that Just yeah. as soon as you've got two hands on it. It was very sexy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I started with... I, I dropped it and a prisoner <laughs> fucked me up the arse. Um, so I, um, every time you thought you got him, he'd slip out of it by going, yeah. oh, forget about that, what about this? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And you go, no, let's focus on this. And he'd go, no, I don't want to talk about that, let's talk about this. Yeah. And he'd, he'd present you with such a beatable hypothesis... Yeah. That you'd go, right, I'll just beat him at that, and then he'll 
And they go, but what about this? That's and how they do it. They it, bombard you with bullshit. Yeah, and well, then this if you what, can't pick apart all of them because you're not an expert immediately, then yeah. they're like, where? Well, so, that's, that's the, that was what the MMA fighter was doing. And he yeah. just kept going. Like, it was a nice bloke, but he kept saying to me, like, I'm just asking questions. And yeah. whenever I sort of put something to him, he got annoyed. And he was like, I'm just asking questions. He was like, if you keep asking questions yeah. that don't have any fucking answers, yeah. it's pointless. It's like a toddler going, why? Yeah, yeah, why? it is that. And why? He, and every yeah. time he said something to him, he went, I don't know. So he was saying that... Um, he he was so Freddie got me down. It was like eleven o'clock in the morning, run corn, yeah. and a cup of tea. Sit there, and this guy who could kill me with his little finger is sat there with this, and it's not like he's not into a comedy vibe. And Freddie's like, "Oh, here we are, Piggotin," yeah. and he sat there like fucking two years of COVID rage just building up in him. And every time we try and make a joke or something, he's just like, "No, but it's a serious point." And we're like, "Yeah, okay, don't kill us." But honestly, there was there was a point where Garrett was just dicking about with him, and I. Could could see the whites of this guy's he literally knuckles. could just like going like that and i was like oh, i'm gonna back off here because he's like going to be he's a fucking trained killer yeah absolutely yeah. like sat there yeah. and, and freddie's like oh no it'll be a good idea 11 o'clock in the morning we'll get him down roncon and we'll ask him it's about right. vaccines yeah. which is, is something that he's he's provably yeah. not light-hearted about yeah he's very upset this is why about. i said no i was like he was freddie was like trying to pitch it to me like we can take the piss out of him i was like he's not someone i want to take the piss no. out of no. So I, yeah, I was I was pot committed by the time Paul Smith was just like he will destroy you. <laughs> like, okay. So funny, yeah. it was so good. It was but terrifying. Have and then I came out having had that experience. I'm like, oh, I got that. Like, like Milo McCabe listened to it and called me up, and he was just like, I thought it was good because I know you, and I could hear at certain points where you were like going down the chuckle route, and then you were like, back it off, back it off. Sensible question. Yeah. Oh, okay, I agree. I agree. I agree. Absolutely. They do print money, don't they? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like, so he had <laughs> it's a dangerous slope though because before you know it you're like no they do control the media no yeah, you're like yeah. <laughs> but he was on that right so he was on yeah. that it was like did you know in the 1800s it's like i've heard of this it's not a good one and yeah, then he was like yeah, and he was like going they can print money right and they print money and i was like so why if if you can print money yeah. Like, do you want to, like, destroy the economy that, you you know, obviously yeah. it's benefiting you? And he was just like, think about it. There have been billions of pounds of NHS contracts that have gone. And was like, if you can print money, what do you want an NHS contract for? Yeah. Like, he's just like, Why do you need really... that extra loop? Yeah, I just yeah. thought, oh, I really want to get some I... PPE to Darlington because I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this, though, yeah. Yeah. in the cage fighter's defence, right? Yeah. So he didn't want to have the vaccine because he yeah. wasn't totally sold on how it was going to affect him and his body. Yeah. And me and Garrett were like, fuck it. Yeah, give a shit. It's your yeah, own yeah, personal yeah. choice. Well, this is it. This is it. Yeah. But we were like, he was like, why did you two get the vaccine? And we were like, look at us. I wasn't yeah, going to start you? asking what was in drugs but, now. But yeah, here's I, the, I once snorted ketamine off a thing. toilet floor. It seemed like a weird time to exactly. be like... Exactly. Here's yeah. the thing. Like, like, There's a guy from the Happy Mondays who's an anti-vaxxer. It's like... You've yeah, spent clap, the nineties. Clapton, Clapton as well. He's yeah. a heroin addict for like fifteen years. He's like, I'm not having a vaccine. If you're an anti-vax athlete, I kind of get it. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. because a, a even though COVID's going to be worse for you. No, than but, the vax, a, but yeah. a, a two percent drop in performance sure. for me and Garrett. We're not going to notice. You're on minus two percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's not like it's we, not we are like literally. We, we, our bodies are going around going. Anyone got a charger? <laughs> <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I'm it, literally, I'm on the last. Yeah. It's not like we're going to be like, I didn't get to the fridge quite as quickly yeah, as yeah. what I usually do. We, we, we res- live in the red bar, Freddie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't been on green since You can only put kids. your brightness up to quarter. Yeah. 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 Me, and, yeah. me and Garrett live on power saving yeah, mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, uh, whereas with him, a 2% drop might be the difference. Yeah, he might between, get his head kicked in. It might yeah. be the difference between being a world champion or not being in the sport at all. Sure, sure. sure. I, I do agree. I get so, that. so I get it. What I don't get is then I attach that to all this stuff about which is like very dangerously, although he didn't say it, like it very, very close to classic like anti Semitic conspiracy yeah. theories. I plugged it into all of that, got on some Facebook groups, yeah, and yeah, now yeah. on a podcast going. Don't get vaccinated. Well, so know? here's the thing is, another person that we had on Pigoted is we had a, a fascinating bloke. I don't know if you met him. You might have to. He's called Michael Marshall, right? Right. He's know. the only person... Pigoted was like faulty towers. Yeah, there were only 12 episodes, but they're the best. <laughs> <laughs> they're perfect. Yeah, absolutely. 12 episodes, Christmas yeah. special, got out. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. This is much more like an American series. Yeah, You're really yeah. stringing it out. Just, yeah, run and run and yeah, run just keep yeah. going. Same premise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is Parks and Rec. Yeah, you yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go on one too long. Set one in the future. Yeah. <laughs> 
you, you, you were jumping the shark yeah. into your new studio. I think yeah, we're yeah. in Arrested Development Series 5 already. Yeah. 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 Now, I like the idea of Parks and Rec because season one of that is pretty much a rip-off of The Office and that's pretty much what we've done with other words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is like, we've, we've got not... our own studio. But yeah. This is the thing, like, I go in so last time, like, I'm going to get killed by an anti-vaxxer. Like, this one will be a light-hearted ch- chat with uh, Rob and Freddie. Like, great, I walk in and go, oh, the wall behind me. <laughs> <laughs> great. Yeah, we, so the wall of demonetization, we yeah, call it. Yeah. yeah, I was I was sort of walking in here going, okay, well, there are two things to consider in this conversation this afternoon. I have um, a very small daughter mm-hmm. uh, and a modest career, both of which... <laughs> Yeah, oh, you might not have any of those <laughs> yeah, after no. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, c- we can't make any guarantees. Yeah, I'm yeah, afraid, yeah. Mate. So yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, coming up to do a preview in Liverpool. Oh, yeah, pop into a nice podcast, come in and go... <laughs> Oh, good. Look at well, them all. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty industrial strength podcast, to yeah. be honest with you. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, then, uh, and then have to spend 10 minutes before we record lecturing you guys on the legality of certain videos. Yeah, you did. Uh, like Garrett did point out, a couple of the videos we were considering to show today were definitely illegal and could get us a couple of years in jail. So, yeah, uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so I, basically, if I, I ever get arrested, Freddie was still up for it. <laughs> yeah, if I ever get arrested, I need to throw my phone in the ocean. Have you not, I, yeah. What do a do a fucking yeah. Rebecca Vardy exactly? Yeah, 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 yeah. I dropped it in the North Sea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that she thought for even a minute that that was going to... I, I amazing, dropped it, it in the North Sea. What? What a coincidence. Yeah. That phone yeah. that you've asked me specifically to retain, I was in the North Sea. I did that with a retainer when I was like 16. Right? Yeah. I'd, like, I'd, I'd had train tracks for a couple of years. I had this retainer for a while and it hurt and I was sick of it. So I just threw it off the side of a boat on the way to Norway. Yeah. So, you know, I was like, but there wasn't a court case involved. So, yeah. yeah. I yeah, think yeah, it just cost the NHS a couple hundred quid, you know. <laughs> Don't think it's the worst thing that's ever happened. Oh, a lot of people are costing the NHS a couple of hundred quid. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, Freddie's going to cost them several hundred thousand pounds so within Captain, the next five years. Captain Tom covered it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Tom, lad. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, So I wanted to talk to you about um, uh, a... a, a a bit of uh, a review that I had from a comedy night. Right. Now you've, oh, God, yeah, I've seen this. You've seen this. Yeah. So I had, I booked a comedy night in Birmingham. It was the one that you saw pictures of, you said looked very nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, you put them up a couple of days ago. It's beautiful, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. It's a lovely thing. I put a picture on Instagram. It's, it's a lovely gig. Yeah. What, what did you say to the lovely people in the nice space, Freddie? No, <laughs> it's not what I say. It's who I did or didn't book. Right. So, um, the gig itself is gorgeous. It's at a place called Hockley Social, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's like a warehousey type thing with cool street vendor type food places and cool bars and stuff. And they have a space in the middle that they use for performances and stuff, and we do comedy there. Yeah. So, last month we had um, Alfie Brown, Bobby Murr, and Felicity Ward mm-hmm. for eight quid, which is bloody good. That's, that's a bargain of a lot. And then yeah. this time we had... Um, uh, who do we have? Brennan Reese, yeah. Lost Voice Guy, Scott Bennett. Yeah. And then next time, I think we've got Danny McLaughlin, uh, Darren Harriet's closing it. Yeah. And I think we might have Sarah Key with, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Sure. Anyway, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's a great standard for eight quid on a Thursday. Yeah. Jobs are good. Em. Anyway, they sell tickets through a website called Design My Night or something. Right. And after a few days, what Design My Night do is they send out a e- email basically sort of saying uh how did you enjoy it leave us a quick review what's yeah. what I've, I've heard of design my night but like what's the, what's different to that to say ticket text or ticket text don't send customers uh emails to say do you but want like, to when they're the designing show? night do they like go go for dinner here and then comedy here or I, I think that was no the idea. original fucking pitch but i reckon they're probably just right, so yeah, it's now. Yeah, and then what they do is they send the reviews to the organizer yeah i see that sort of shit can fuck so, off like we, there's a thing on patreon where if you're people, not interested yeah well if, if you cancel your patreon yeah. like you can put a little thing like why you're cancelled and i do not give a fuck oh my like, God, just I, bet, I bet we've got some, off. I yeah, we've got we've, some amazing ones. We've had a couple. But I'm like, I just don't what care. They, what You're did they gone. think they were buying? I can imagine yeah. why they left. But what, I know. <laughs> we've not missold it. It's yeah. like it's been very clear. I don't know. I don't know. I was just sort of came in and I saw the wall and I was like, uh. yeah. <laughs> we, we put a lot of warnings you, on this. You throttled up a bit. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so this is what someone sent to design my night. Okay. They rated the night three out of five stars. Solid. And... Um, Reads really? like a two. You're, you're going to be happy with a three out of five in Edinburgh, will you? Well, I mean, I kind of have to be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but for you like, you've got to take what you're giving in it. I've had a few threes. 
<laughs> in my time. Um, <laughs> I've, I've had a few twos. So, yeah. so yeah. comment. Enjoyable evening, but there was a lack of diversity. Brackets. Gender and ethnicity. Close brackets. Right. In the lineup, which sliced the humour. Doesn't sliced. Oh, siloed. No. Siloed the humour. Sliced. Siloed Have you humor. thought it was sliced for the last three yeah. days? Yeah. What siloed mean? Siloed, like it means it's it's like a it's like a business term for things being kind of uh, siloed, yeah. uh, Scored, Isolated from so others. In like business now, like in modern business, they're like, right, we don't want people working in silos. Oh, are we you want to work messing? together. Yeah. Isolated from. So, so the 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 um. Well, so the complaint where you store grain for the winter. Exactly. Yeah. So she could have been like, I didn't enjoy the night now because of the lack of diversity but it did all seep in and there'll be a cold winter night where i'll go actually fair enough yeah i'll have good. a little chuckle i'll be nourished yeah, by yeah, it yeah. so so just to clarify this yeah. is a show that so has you want to talk about diversity booking on comedy lineups on this podcast because i tell you freddie i'd just as soon talk about prolapse sinuses <laughs> <laughs> well you know what i mean we, we tried to get a more diverse lineup but unfortunately they were all booked for telly so uh, <laughs> they didn't happen to be driving uh, to hull later on this evening i know and just they say yes because they because they don't need to because they get paid fucking shit tons to appear on itv7 lineups uh so so these videos of uh <laughs> <laughs> so anyway right it it, it pissed me off it, it's honestly it's been it's been days and i'm still fucking raging because of, one person out yeah. of what 200 no yeah, but like, it's, the the it's, a, it's the cheek of it's the cheek of diversity brackets gender and ethnicity yeah. close they, brackets because you've got it's last like, voice guy so they can't touch you on that one the right, most right, okay. disabled comedian in the country, yeah, I would yeah, say. Yeah. Mm. There's no one. There's no one beating Lost Voice Guy. He can't speak. No yeah. one's more disabled. He is top tier disabled in the country. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's yeah. that's a that's a debating point. Certainly, um... <laughs> it's one I want to have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. There's, there's loads more yeah. mentally disabled. He's sharp as a tack. That's not his issue. But yeah. physically disabled, I'd I'd put him number one. So yeah. the mentally disabled ones. Yeah, yeah. Such as no, no. <laughs> okay. So anyway, my my grievance yeah, with it, obviously, yeah. is is the idea. Did you just point at me? Yeah. And also, <laughs> Freddie in about five years will overtake Lee in terms of physical disabilities. Yeah. Like you know, Lee's got both of his feet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I can't laugh. I've got very bad gout, and currently, <laughs> currently, I find it very difficult to bring my hand to my mouth because I've got such ga- bad gout in my elbow. That's so. nice. It's like gout solves its own problem. Yeah, yeah. It? It's, it's like <laughs> na- nature, <laughs> nature healing itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like, just calm down, lads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. how, how can we stop? How can we stop this fat cunt from eating? Uh, what if we just lock up? Yeah. It's actually. Uh, it's actually. Sorry, before you trigger me here, it's actually a genetic form of arthritis. Um, is which, it? Which is obviously exacerbated by being. Being morbidly obese and um, you know eating too many macas on the way back from uh, club gigs. Um, so I was driving back from Huntington last night. It's yeah. a three and a quarter hour journey. Yeah. I'd had the shits all day. As I imagine you do most days. No, this was. When a... was the last time you did a solid poo? Honestly, I think Wednesday. <laughs> That's too many so, days. So yesterday it was Such pressure on the health service so, so yes yesterday recommend you get that checked out but you, you probably can't it's genuinely fine. it's diet so yeah. so genuinely it, it was water all day yesterday Brilliant. like and i'm not just talking it was diarrhea i'm talking it was brown water oh, i always thought day. you were protesting that i only had water for an entire day and therefore it was a question as to <laughs> no. how has this happened does this no. look like a man who intermittently <laughs> fasts no i'll tell you what i'll tell you what i ate yesterday yeah go on. so i had a i had a pizza with some chips on top. Is this your breakfast? And some... You eat chips on top of a pizza? It's insane. He puts potato in everything. We went in a subway, and he put potato wedges on his subway, and the guy working there went, I've never seen anyone do that before. <laughs> yeah, he, said it, he said it with such bafflement. Yeah. He went... But they don't never... sell They don't sell potato wedges, so you had to go to another... No, 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 they do at this uh, place. Okay, he, went, okay. he went, I've never seen anyone do that before. Yeah. It was like... You know, in the Matrix, when Neo beats one of the fucking yeah, yeah, agents, yeah. I've yeah. never seen anyone do that. But it was he is the chosen one, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he will be dead in a year and a half. And that's <laughs> yeah, entirely yeah, yeah. your fault. <laughs> There's no trilogy with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I um, I had a pizza at about one o'clock. I didn't have any yeah. breakfast. This was a dinner, and the breakfast rolled into one. Carbs, tomato, I had, cheese, carbs. carbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I put all the, the major food groups. I put the uh, 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 the chips on top. And then I put some uh, light mayo um, on yeah, the top of it. Yeah, you've got to think about your and heart. Then I, and then I, I, 
and then I rolled it. I rolled it up, and I ate it like a giant burrito. Fuck's sake. You made a chip shawarma yeah. out of a... <laughs> He's made <laughs> Italian giros, essentially, at this point. Um, yeah, was, I do that quite often. Yeah. It's really nice. What size pizza was it? Oh, it's 12-inch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, actually, it was one of the Aldi ones that's like a stone bake. <coughs> so it's sort of like a rugby ball shape. Right, okay. Which makes it's it... It's absolutely perfect which, for the fold. Which I buy because it's easier to roll. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Okay. I love and that you know okay. which pizzas okay. are good for rolling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you can't roll that one. No, no, get us a rolly you know, pizza. You're such a cunt, but I genuinely do know which pizzas yeah. are good for rolling. Exactly. Uh, frozen pizzas, nightmare You can't have rolling. a Dr. Erker. Your yeah, base yeah. is too crumbly. <laughs> no, you can't. Be you can't have a Dr. Erker, but, but, but your biggest mistake is to use a frozen pizza for rolling. Sure. The you base, need a fresh yeah, yeah, dough. Yeah, the, the, you need a fresh yeah, dough. Anywho, right? So I had that for dinner. Do you roll it up, then bake it? No, 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 no. Maybe I should try it's, that. He's got a plant your grill. He sticks it. <laughs> <laughs> he lathers it with butter and sticks yeah, it down yeah, yeah. to Cubano. So, I had that. Yeah. And then when I was going to the gig, I, I and I'd shat maybe five times already that day. Uh huh. Um, so you thought best have a pizza with chips on to sort this out. Yeah, yeah. it's a you know su- substance. Substance. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, then when I went to fuel up, I got a meal deal from Tesco. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. What was the meal deal? It was a tuna mayo sandwich. Right. Um, Ooh, it's not, not what I'd be going for on diarrhea. <laughs> well, I wasn't thinking like that. I, th- I thought fish. I'd solve the problem. Right, by eating the pizza with chips. Yeah, to yeah. block it up. Right. It yeah. even went down sort of like in a cork-shaped <laughs> way. Okay. So, um, and I had some uh, big hula hoops right. as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, big ones. Yeah, and then I had so, a Kit Kat and a drink. Right. So, so uh, a meal deal what, plus a Kit Kat. Yeah, what what, what drink? A can of Monster or something? Uh, Diet Coke. Oh, yeah, yeah Diet Coke. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to be overdoing the sugar. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, that's why you have the light mayo. Yeah. So uh, I was driving down, and I got to about half an hour away, and I had an intense, curdling need to shit, as I do sometimes. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's like someone's grabbed my intestines and just squeeze them like that. And I yeah. feel... It's, it's more like someone's grabbed your intestines and force-fed a 12-inch pizza <laughs> encasing chips and then thrown down tuna mayonnaise on it. I basically know how foie gras feels. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, I... Um, like uh, this pressure on your guts, was it when you lay down by any chance and the weight of your belly just goes... Bloosh. That does actually happen. <laughs> But anyway, right. Sometimes when you lie down, do you suddenly need this a poo? Is, this yes. Is, this is a terrible conversation. Why is that having, bad? Right? Because I just—it's not something that happens to me. I have, a, I, as a, as a, as an equally fat man, I have a huge amount of shame about like I'll have nine nuggets with with a meal and, yeah, yeah. A, and a milkshake. Look, I'm a big and, lad. Like I, you know, I eat like a fat cunt, but I'm right. a dead tall. Okay. You know, like. Yeah. So yeah, you I, had I, two I, McPlant burgers when I got you the McDonald's. Yeah, you big fat fuck. And halloumi fries. Let's yeah. go. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. But I have that, and it's like it's one of these things where. You know, when you're drinking too much and you look at somebody who's just like on the floor for a bottle of whiskey and you look at them and go, well, actually, that means I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sitting here about all the shame of my of my extra nuggets. Like, not six, I have nine. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm hearing about this this pizza burrito and I'm like, oh, yeah, you're I'm fucking so, fine. I'm all right. Yeah, yeah. Even though I, I can't use my right arm properly at the moment because <laughs> the gout's killing me. You're I'm still like, not as bad as yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I'm not, I'm not shitting myself. Like, in my do you car. do you ever eat vegetables, Garrett? Yeah. Right. There you go. Better than him. Yeah. No, oh, I I seldom eat vegetables. Why? Right. No. He, he comes in and goes, like "Oh, I ate some stuff. veg." He had three slices of cucumber on a tuna sandwich. That's not eating veg. No. Well, okay. What is it then? I mean, it's having a tiny bit of garnish on a sandwich. It's yeah, not like but... having a portion of veg. Uh, so I think you'll find Salad, that anyway. I yeah. took. Um, uh, I, I I went for. Food before this, and I had some salad uh, along with a uh, mighty meaty sandwich. But but the salad right. came on the side of the plate. Yeah, and like I ate some of it. Do yeah, how, yeah, how much did you eat? About two thirds of it, and I also had quite a lot of the um, uh, what's it called coleslaw that was on the side as well. Oh well, if you're eating coleslaw, that's basically you know that's what athletes eat. Yeah, that's legit. <laughs> It's you, fucking shit loads of mayo. Yeah. You're like, I'm being healthy. You same bolt swears by coleslaw. Sure. Yeah. yeah. He, he's he's getting his steps in though, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah. right? I'm half an hour away. I just away. realised you wear a fitness tracker. I know. Right? So do I. I'm, it's yeah. I'm, I'm half away. Well, yeah, it's, it's absolute, Still unfit. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it is. It, it's it, it's mathematically pathetic. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> 
that's not even it's <laughs> not even close. No. And the, the only reason I got those standing up points is because I went for a wee in a service station twice. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I got I got uh, half an hour away from the venue last night. Right? Yeah. I'm on the A1 and I feel my guts fucking tighten and I feel my stomach rumble yeah. and I feel I need a shit now. Like I, I yeah. think given everything that could have happened, right, the fact that you got away with one three-star review about diversity on your lineup, not being quite to this person's liking, you could have had a load of like the compare shat himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you got away. You should really chalk that up as a win. Yeah. So um, <coughs> the lineup wasn't brown, but the audience was. Anyway, oh, so well, so that wasn't that bad. Uh, yeah. yeah, let's go into VAR. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. So right, I feel the need to poo, and I have to stop. I notice that there's a sign. For a uh, for a Starbucks, <laughs> so I thought I'll have a coffee and then I'll figure out what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Let's roll the dice. So double espresso. So, stat. so, uh, so I, I I I turn Can you have off. Have a cigarette on the way in as well. Yeah. I turn off and I go to the Starbucks and I push the thing and it's shut. It's been shut ten minutes. Is this a story of you shitting in a hedge? No, no. I got really close. <laughs> um, there's a travel lodge next door. Right. right, like a, yeah. a motorway services travel lodge. Uh -huh. So I one run of in. the bleakest locations on the planet. I, I run sure. in, yeah. and at this point, my fuck, I, I can't stand up straight. Right, I'm like fucked. Yeah. I run in. Some poor fucker behind the reception of a travel lodge in the middle of nowhere sees you bent double, just, just, just charging just, at the door with a cup. I need to shit your coffee now. everywhere. So, 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 <laughs> mayonnaise all down your beard. <laughs> so, listen. <laughs> So listen, right? I, it's one big hula hoop. Yeah, yeah. So I said, I said, excuse me. I said, do you have any? Uh, I, I need to use the toilet. Right? Uh -huh. And she said, we've not got toilets that you can use here, love. Right? Uh -huh. And in my panic, I said, I'll buy something. And I didn't know. You can't just like buy a coat. I didn't know do, what do you that serve meant. Pizzas. <laughs> I'll have a pizza, a, a side of chips. I um, I didn't know what, I just needed the loo. Yeah. And yeah. I said, I'll buy something. And she looked at me and I went, look, I just, I need the toilet. And she said, well, I can't let you use any of these. Which, I mean, at the time I was quite pissed off about. But having slept on it, she was absolutely right. Yeah, if you it. work in a she place where you've got to clean the toilet yeah, 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 and you in run in clutching yeah. your stomach going, I need the toilet now. You'd be like, get the fuck outside in the hedge, you <laughs> dirty cunt. We've I got, would. We've got customers. Yeah, I hundred percent wouldn't let you come so, in and shit in my place. So she said, "There's a services just down the road, you know, turn left up there." And I, I ran to the car and I could feel. I thought you were going to book a room. I thought that was like, yeah, this, oh, this thought, was going to end. That would have been a great. Yeah. 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 Um, See, the, the phrase to use there. I've I've been in this situation before. I've been in a place where like, and you can't use a toilet, and I've just looked them dead in the eyes and goes, "I'm about to shit. Where do you want it to happen?" I don't have this like, problem. I go into places and I just say, in yeah. a nice southern accent, I go, excuse me, can I uh, use your facilities? Right. And they go, yes. See, I, I wonder if go, go, excuse me, I need a shite. I'm about to shite. I've had some what's coffee. I'm just running where I couldn't. Fuck it. They're like, get out of here. <laughs> Typical middle class privilege. <laughs> yeah, isn't yeah, 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 yeah. He's, like, he's like Hugh Grant with women. He's so, just so, fucking, so, sorry. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Wouldn't it all awfully I'm really, be possible? My fitness trackers have told me to stand up. There we go, yeah. Yeah. Sorted. Keep it very much keeping the wolf from the door, aren't you, Garrett? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That'll do it. Yeah, I'll that make, should fix it. Make it Sorry. to my daughter's graduation. <laughs> 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 so, right, yeah. um, I ran to Peterborough Services like as fast as I could. Which is not fast. And you had a car. So. <laughs> <laughs> no I, meant, I, meant, I Fred Flintstone the, in it there. I ran to the car, drove the car, it's, uh, speeded to Peterborough Services, yeah. got there, and it was one of those things. I know it's so cliche, but it's one of those things that as soon as I got to the toilet, as soon as I got in the cubicle and closed the door and pulled my pants down, it just fell out of me like... <laughs> anyway, I, I waited there for some time. I reckon I was on the toilet for at least 15 minutes. Yeah. Just wait. I waited until I'd stopped shitting, and then I waited for a bit, and then I tried to shit again just to make sure that nothing was left. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So I get to the. I, I clean up, and then I get to the gig, right? Uh, which is only 20 minutes away. When you say clean up, 
Like, yeah. Ma- yeah. Sounds like you got one of those guys like in Chernobyl, you know, when yeah. they're like spraying yeah, yeah. them down outside in the hazmat suit. Yeah. Everyone walking out pushing the unhappy face. <laughs> <laughs> How's it, how's it today? An experience I'll never forget. Seared on, seared on my retinas. The inventor of the burrito pizza came in and let himself down in a stall. One day they'll be driving past a sewage plant and then all the memory will rush back yeah, yeah. like they've sniffed a macaroon. They go, Dad, Dad, can we stop at Moto? No. Not there, son. Never Not there. Can. Never there. <laughs> oh, right. I get to I get to uh, I get to the gig, right? And um I'm I'm worried a little bit because I can feel so you're like, I'll have some chili hummus. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I can feel yeah. that there's nothing in my stomach, but if anything was in my stomach, I'd shit uh-huh. it out. Uh-huh. So So you're like, well, you know, Basically, you've got built-in bulimia at that point, isn't it? Yeah. Might as well go for a little binge. So I, um, I, <laughs> I think to myself, do I have a poo before I go on stage? And I'm like, no, I'll not. I'll not. I'll not risk it. Because right now I'm not... Surely the risk is not having a poo. That's the risk. No, no, no. Because right now my stomach feels settled. It feels empty. Right. right. But it's not grumbling and growling at me. Yeah. And I know that the way that my body is, is sometimes I need to poo twice in quick succession. Mm. You are very in tune with your body, mm. aren't you? I am. Yeah. Yeah. Were you, were you emceeing or you had to go for Closing. the full, full 20? So you had 30. To, 30 minutes. So you had to you had to trust yourself 30 minutes. Exactly. Yeah. Which, so, I thought I'll not... I'll, okay. Is this why you MC a lot? <laughs> just could only do 10 yeah, minute yeah, bursts. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's yeah. just like, well, I want to book Freddie to do it. He's never yeah. done Edinburgh. It's because like he needs an three hour. shits a night. <laughs> it's like just an hour. one in each section. Right, what we're going to do is we'll get the first act on. I'll go for a shit. Then we'll have a break. Build it up, build it up, build it up. <laughs> so um, I, I thought, right, I'll defo shit after, before I drive home. I'll have like an extra little, you know. Try just, to squeeze one out before just, the journey. Yeah, sure. totally. Yeah. So I do that, but. By the time I've like everyone's left and I've packed away, I've got like a little banner. I packed that away and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And everyone was like, the the staff of the venue were like, go. Do you know what I mean? And I was like, I, I felt a bit weird about being like, I'm gonna have a shit for 15 minutes and you all have to wait. Uh-huh. And so I was like, oh, you did it anyway. Right? I, no, I was like, oh, okay. I'll just get in the car and chance it. Right. So I get in the car. That doesn't feel like a good idea. I'm driving home. You've not properly analysed the data from the earlier experiment. <laughs> Well, I'm driving home and I make it about an hour and a half home yeah. and I realise that actually I I don't need to shit anymore, but I'm really hungry because there's nothing in. Sure. There's nothing yeah. in my belly anymore. Right? Yeah. Is there a pizza hut on the motorway? No, but I'll tell you what there is. What did you have? A McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. So... What so I... on the day where you're shitting yourself, the three meals you went for were, <laughs> were a pizza with chips on, yeah. a tuna mayo sandwich, and then a Mackey's. Yeah. So for, for, eat some vegetables. So, so, so. Bowl, a bowl of soup, something gentle, maybe. like uh, He, consi- bre- he considers brand. it a waste of a meal. He gets angry about soup. Yeah, soup pisses me off. Right. Yeah. So I actually had to drive off the motorway I used Google Maps to find all the McDonald's. So, it's, so you can use Google Maps yeah. to find all the McDonald's. It'll tell you exactly how far out the journey. Yeah, yes. and I've, 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 I've done We've that. We've all yeah, done, done that. that. I've yeah. not done the earlier bit. And I was, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I was so hungry, I'd, used the ta- I'd rerouted my sat-nav, so it was going to the nearest McDonald's, and I was thinking in my head about what I could have that would fill me up enough but wouldn't make me violently shit myself until right, I got Right, well, home. the answer to that is probably not a Mackey's. Yeah. Right, yeah, but I'd settled on Mackey's. What are you saying? Siri let you down. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, Hey, Siri, what can I have? So, <laughs> so what I decided on, the yeah. best meal to have, was 20 McNuggets. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, mm. right, talk us through your thinking. Yeah. So, well, I thought... With, with min- sauce, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, yeah. what, what barbecue? I like barbecue. I like two barbecue and two ketchup. Right, uh, per nug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love twenty McNuggets and eighty sauce packets, please. Uh, I tell you, I, this chat's made me feel really good. I, I mean, I, I can't speak to its, um, you know, reason to exist 
in a wider format, but I do feel better about myself every yeah, time. Well, yeah. I got to the McDonald's and it was closed. It wasn't a 24 hour McDonald's. Right, yeah. And I was. You do have to check that when you when you exactly. check the location. This is fucking do, amateur hour yeah, shit. I was. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. Yeah. Fucking That's really. That's going to be you drove to the next one. And I was never drive through. I was really, really, really annoyed. Right. Yeah. But then I caught myself for a moment about why I was upset. Yeah. I was upset because this place wasn't open, so that I could eat, knowing that I would probably shit myself before I got home. <laughs> You're like, I want to shit myself now. What, what? Well, no, honestly, that was a moment in my life last night, and this is where the story ends, by the way. Yeah. But there was a. a, a definite... oh, yeah, yeah, there isn't a bit where anyone learns anything <laughs> no, at the end. <laughs> no, no, but what I learned is that there was a definite moment in my life last night where I prioritised being a bit hungry yeah. over definitely shitting my pants yeah. mm. in this my This doesn't car. surprise me that, you know, that is the choice it you would make. It felt like a turning point for yeah. me. Yeah, like, okay. I, I, are you wearing an adult nappy right now? Like, no. I, I really feel like this is where this is heading. This no. is the slippery slope you are on. No, yeah, I've, yeah no. they do make them. Yeah. Uh, um, do they make them this big? I, I undoubtedly I think that's probably probably pretty much exclusively. The, the yeah, 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 fair yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we only yeah. do adult nappies in medium. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I've had those guys in the Abercrombie adverts on. Like, I tell you what, I need <laughs> <laughs> the ability to get from my pizza burrito to my nugs without shitting on the car seat. <laughs> You're gonna have to put fucking tarpaulin down in your car, aren't you? <laughs> I'm never getting a lift with you again. <laughs> So, so did you just ended up not eating. I just ended up not did you, eating. Did you catch yourself then and go, actually, I shouldn't eat twenty nugs because I will shit myself? Well, this is why you ate the salad earlier on today. I think this is. Yeah, the, this yeah is I was the... so hungry. Right, I'll have a little oh, bit. No, I just thought you turned a corner and you're like roughage. I have a yeah. roughage. And like, I bet this salad though was it one of those sad ones where it's like a bit of lettuce, a little bit of tomato, and cucumber. Yes. Right yeah. there, you go. Yeah, like oh, the ones I'm, you get oh, in a bag I'm with sorry. your fucking Indian. I'm sorry yeah. that my salad wasn't happy enough for you, Rob. Yeah, I'm it's... sorry that my salad that I ate... No, just your entire diet is really sad. It really upsets me. Really? Yeah, it's just pretty bleak, mate. Well, I, I just... I... Okay, so I don't like eating a meal if I'm not going to enjoy it. Right. So right. I like I like to enjoy But you need to learn meal. to enjoy vegetables. They're nice. It's just like some of them are acquired taste. You know, yeah. you just need to try. I don't, you need I don't to learn to cook never. them well. This, this, this should be a, like a dead men talking. You should just do some side apps for YouTube yeah. of Rob taking you to different sort of places yeah we'll try to try out some veg we're like this is broccoli week we're going to try some sauteed broccoli it's lovely this is a farmer's market freddie i don't like it yeah (laughs) take it home and go we put a little bit of salt on you're like okay yeah like training my autistic toddler yeah (laughs) (laughs) yeah Yeah. try some veg why is that man walking around the farmer's market in massive headphones (laughs) (laughs) and mittens and a nappy (laughs) Hula well, hoops in his beard. I'm really pleased you managed to not shit yourself, mate. Thanks, mate. Well I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm impressed that you were like, right, this is what I wanted to talk about on the podcast today. <laughs> like, I mean, this story. Oh, it just comes out. It yeah, literally yeah, yeah. just it yeah. literally just comes out. Not yeah. even, yeah. Don't well, it's not. I things. mean, it's, it, it is better than the last podcast because so far I'm sitting here going, that's disgusting, but it's not anti Semitic. So I'm sitting here being like, yeah, okay, wait, just not, wait. Hold on. Right, okay, Hold uh, on. He'll keep going. He'll do the voice in right, a bit. Right, okay. <laughs> Just waiting to get my head yeah. kicked in by a man who's like. Ugh. Anyway, yeah. when I have the shit, you yeah. look at it, solid swad sticker. Who'd have thought? <laughs> Very hard shape to shit in. To be fair, if you did shit a swad sticker, I would be impressed. That would be interesting, wouldn't yeah. it? There was it'd a thing. It'd be, you could... be a quandary for Twitter, wouldn't it? You'd be like, <laughs> no. do a post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's definitely a subreddit where you can put that, and it'll be appreciated. But like, there was a thing for a while. There was like uh, a thing you could buy that went over your toilet. There was like a play-doh mold for your shit. You know, like. So you could like make a you star shape. the best bits of the internet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got. I'm in some real cool communities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Where were you? You, you were at the Isle of uh, Wight this weekend, weren't you? I was at the Isle of Wight this weekend. Yeah. I've yeah. never been to the Isle of Wight before. What's it like? Uh, it's very nice. It's like a. It's like a series of small villages on an island. Yeah, they're very backwards. The people. What worse than Isle of Man? No, not no. Nothing's worse than the Isle of Man. <laughs> Like the Isle of Man, like they've all got like they, they look Neanderthal in the Isle of Man. They don't take uh, the the a lot of places don't take card. I, I went to I had lunch and I tried to play and it was like it's cash only. Uh, but having said that, um, I so I had a I, I had a cooked breakfast and a coffee and a juice and water, and then the very nice lady said, oh, I said how much do I own? She was eight pounds twenty. I said that's impossible. I had all of these things, and she went that's how much they cost. Yeah. And I was like okay, I will go. I was like I've got to go and get money because it's twenty twenty two and 
I have, you know, who has yeah, yeah. cash. Uh, the rest of everyone else has just agreed it's a cashless society. Um, so yeah, to go over and get a ten pound note, and I was like, you can have the whole ten pounds. Which was like, well, that's a big tip. It was like, that was that was about seventeen quid's worth of. To food be anywhere else. To be fair, yeah. Um, this is one of the reasons that Isle of Man is definitely more backwards than the Isle of Wight. So the Isle of Wight just accepts cash. The Isle of Man have their own cash. Yeah, right. they've got right. Isle of Man money, and it is not accepted as legal tender in the UK, in the England. So and you have to go down Lund Polly and be like, I need twenty quid of Isle of, Isle of Man. No, no, it's no, like no, Disney no. dollars. They right, take. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They take like sterling right but they'll give it back to you. it's like scottish money but, but it's not say, accepted but can you here. say no yeah well scottish money isn't either as soon as you come back from scotland the first service station you hit in england they're all like yeah, yeah. it's like this must happen about six times a day stop pulling that yeah face. yeah yeah, 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 yeah outside yeah. newcastle you know yeah, yeah and also it's like we're in a wh smith it's not your business just put it in the tail. yeah who gives a fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like what do you care if wh smiths lose a tenner yeah you know? Yeah. Um, There's two bags of buttons to them. Yeah, this yeah. is this is why this is why they want independence because of this thing. And then you get those knobs when you say about Scottish money. They go, actually, um, if uh, people have to accept stamps because they're legal, I hate them, that shit. Like, all right, then go in a shop with yeah, some stamps yeah, and see yeah. what fucking happens. I was like, you going to get me a plate? Wait, can you genuinely pay for dinner with stamps? I no, mean, like, it's, it's one, one of those, those like things. technical things. It's like it's technically legal tender, but I think it's like one of those QI facts where it's not a real thing that matters in the real world. Yeah. you know, like. But your next gig. I dare you to pay someone in an envelope full of stamps. That would be fucking kick, amazing. They kick off and just be like, it's legal tender. A <laughs> hundred first class stamps. I go, there you go. That was absolutely. That's, um, I'm giving Editor Sam his next pay packet in that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a solid set. We're looking at progression. Next week, we'll get you a postal order. <laughs> These ones have got Peter Rabbit on. Enjoy. <laughs> Oh, mate, the word progression makes me so fucking sad. You just don't like progress of any kind, yeah, do you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, there are a number of reasons for that, but neither of us are qualified therapists no, so we can't <laughs> dig into it. So th the thing is with comedians and progression and stuff, like, yeah. obviously, more people are doing comedy now than have ever really done it before. So yeah. the But more people live on the earth than at any point in history, so... <laughs> the facts. The Give me three pounds, said Rob. Yeah. Yeah, you doing I'm, it like a little bedtime story? Yeah, I'm doing it in the third person. All right, yeah. Join us on Patreon if you're enjoying this. Said Rob as he scratched his itchy, disgusting skin. I didn't scratch myself, though, at all. No, no. You can't just like... That's you know, a cue for you false, to. That's fake news. Should we try it again, then? No. No. No, we've done it now. Explained Rob as he looked into the camera wistfully and wished his dad would come home. <laughs> <laughs> give us three pound a month for yeah. patreon uh if you enjoy uh dead men talking then why not become a patron it's three quid a month uh you go over to patreon.com forward slash dead men talk pod and by signing up you get an extra episode every single week access to all the extra content that we put out rob's punishment set the live roast shows you get access to the discord what good where, value where we keep all of the um all the videos and stuff it is genuinely it's always called the the best value uh, patron in the game By because us. we're not uh, a podcast that does tears. We're not one of these. Oh, three pound, five pound, ten pound. Because we can't be asked. Three quid, you get fucking everything for yeah. that, and you help to support us. Your money helps keep this podcast going because it is you, hard to get sponsors for this. <laughs> bloody impossible. Yeah. Who'd have thought? We had Manscaped for two weeks. Explained Rob oh. as he thought about all the times in his life where people have pretended to love him to be close to him. Yeah. Why are you smiling at that? It's nice. It's like I take him pretending, you know. Said Rob's mum as she faked yet another orgasm. All right. Who's badly shagging my mum in this story? Said Rob to the queue of men outside his mum's door. I've, I've inept men. Anyway, gives three quid. Let's get back to it. Said the men. <laughs> I've got a history and politics degree. I thought we were going to talk about the Tory leadership race, about Liz Truss, about, you know, the cost of living crisis. Really like, uh, no. None of well, that. Freddie, let's, Freddie's arsehole. Let's talk yeah. about it. No, no, let's, <laughs> let's talk about it. Uh, what, um, who's the worst, who's the lesser of the two evils out of Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak? Um, I think I've had enough of the patriarchy, so uh, Liz Truss, absolutely. Um, Racist? Well, um, yeah, yeah, yeah there know, is that. I think it's, it's, it's time a for no a brown man. Si it's, yeah. a, it's a no-win situation in that, yeah. It's uh, it's the juggling the bar of soap. I there. think they both seem like fucking cunts. Yeah. I, yeah. I yeah. sort of yeah. think that, like, and I, and I try not to be too involved in politics. Um, you shocked me. Yeah. 
You try not to be too involved in anything, really. I mean, ever since they kicked me out of the BMP, I've just, I've just felt <laughs> so disillusioned. He's politically homeless now. The EDL's folded. <laughs> yeah. Me and Nick Griffin used to get on like a house on fire. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did actually set quite a few houses on fire. <laughs> did you watch his? Um, did you watch his YouTube video where he was teaching people how to make? Uh, it was fucking pie? incredible. Yeah, yeah. He, he did, did a little cookery. He was video. what? He did a little he cookery video. Cookery video it was top YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now some people like to use a bit of paprika, yeah. and they need to go back to their own fucking country. Yeah, he was yeah. making like a cottage pie, and it's like the most English. Food. It's like get a turnip and boil it for five hours. Uh, now, get on, a- on one camera. Yeah. in his kitchen, no cut away of just him with a, a Tesco bag full of stuff, yeah. just doing a basic thing. But with the BNP logo in the corner, They're like what? What meeting were they having? Like, yeah. look, you absolutely fucked it on question time. Yeah, yeah. I've got an idea. I reckon he watched the Gary V video and was like, "Content's king. We just got to make content." I love the idea. I love the idea of loads of people sitting around eating a shepherd's pie or whatever, and one of them going, "This is delicious. Where's the recipe?" It's actually from the BNP. Yeah. <laughs> It's actually a British National Party cottage pie. They don't judge because everybody's shades of grey. <laughs> the BNP, they've got some fairly rum opinions on some things, but they they have this thing where you put the Worcester sauce in just this <laughs> You cannot fault it. You yeah. cannot fault it. The, yeah, the key is just to, to crumble an OXO cube. And it really... I mean, they are racist, but they've got some great ideas. Very warming on a winter yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Some of them marinades. Lovely. Um, you know they're not seasoned. In anything properly? Come no, on. no, no. That's uh, yeah. it's, it's too foreign. But so, the um, the Liz Trust thing that um, oh, yeah, yeah. that uh, scared me about her is she went. What we're going to do is, if I'm in charge, we are going to uh, deregulate uh, building uh, contractors so that loads more new homes can be built, and yeah. we'll get rid of all a this grand fell for stuff. everyone. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. There's, there's a woman exactly. who's never spent any time with builders. Yeah, 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 yeah. well, exactly, I mean, yeah. I, builders need a fucking eye on them. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this is it. Like, I don't know shit about politics. I don't know shit about building. You can just stop that sentence that you don't know shit. Yeah. <laughs> but. I know enough to know that that is a very bad idea. Yeah, We've, phenomenally bad. It's it's like we, it's almost you know we had a massive disaster within the last few years yeah, as yeah. a result of a lack of regulations around building. Maybe extrapolate out from yeah. that. At the very least, get the fucking uh, get the big bad wolf to see if how how many he can blow down. Yeah, yeah, something yeah. more straw houses. That's Liz Truss's thing, isn't it? Fuck me. Top, top nursery run references there, throwing it in yeah. the halfway mark. Like. Thank you. Well, yeah, that's yeah. a man who looks like Humpty Dumpty. He likes to throw them in. <laughs> I mean, have you seen like every new build house nowadays? Yeah, I hate them. Yeah. It's made of shit. Yeah, they're, yeah, pro- yeah. they're so badly built. They're like They look nice until you get close. I follow a well, TikTok. Well, they look like a little town in The Sims, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Where you're like, when I was a kid, that was a field. What is it now? It's a Sims village. I'm like that. Yeah. Like I'm so like that with my hometown, Nairsborough, right? Because it's a little town, but because it's like near posher places it's become very it's become very gentrified very middle class and right. it always was a bit but there was always scummy bits yeah but now and you've stayed there to keep it real yeah keep yeah, it down yeah, yeah. now like uh, but like now uh, like there's around that it's expanded like doubled in size with all these new build estates around it so there's like this ring of barrett homes around it yeah, they're just yeah. it's fucking horrid well, I it's great it. to build homes but it's just like yeah. can, can we, we just not some... make them a bit nicer yeah yeah is there any chance of like a bit, little bit of variation it's like yeah. there's places like in grab the ci- a bit of art in the world yeah in the city center when they're putting up like blocks of flats mm. like oh, great and then they're gonna go you know, one and two bed flats. It was like, but does it have to look like that? Like, yeah. Can we not make things look nice? It's yeah. like we all love old like buildings that look beautiful and they're ornate and like there's this thing details. To yeah, them. but the, there's yeah. a sort of like shit version of minimalism that happens like, with oh, public yeah, buildings. But when you got when you got those nice, um, you know, those, those Edwardian townhouses, yeah, stuff, yeah. And the nice things above the windows. Exactly. And yeah. the thing now is just like, well, it's a box. But what have you done? Oh, every third window has got a piece of green perspex on it, and then the other one's got red. So it looks like a crap child's drawing going up. It's not the same thing, lads. Yeah, Yeah. but the thing is, though, is the reason why that's the case is because 100 years ago, whatever, when you built a house, it was because you were going to live in that house Mm. until you died. So, so the whole but thing even when is they were that, building like the houses yeah. for scum in Manchester, yeah, yeah, like all the terraces, terraces, and I live in a terraced house that but was not still, built by people. There's who still were, details in it in the yeah. Manchester in the terraces in Manchester. Like they all sort of uh, have yeah, because, the same floor plan. They all look similar, but they were all um, there were relaxations in the rules, so they're all slightly individually different. Mm. And like yeah, like mine's got beautiful old but cornices when, and stuff, and these were like we need to house all the scum. Well, I got, got this. That's when the houses were built to live in, right? 
Whereas yeah, now, the, houses the rent are, are built. Yeah, so and, and so this, is, this is the thing. I'll get, so I spent my 20s living in beige boxes. So I have a, mm-hmm. a bugbear. I, I don't want to slag anyone off the po- uh, on the podcast with the exception of Sarah Beanie. Uh, <laughs> yes. I hate yes. Sarah Beanie with a passion. Fit, though. Uh, oh, a, a lovely looking woman, but with evil in her heart. That's um, kind of my type. Right, okay. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. yeah, yeah. But she, so she's there, like, teaching. Show some pictures te- of Jada Franson after this. <laughs> I don't like. He really fancies Jada Franson. I think she's minging. Uh, I don't I'm know like, who it is. So oh, I'm, she's from the EDL. Like, you know, oh, right. I couldn't cover that at politics. Um, no, no. no. Uh, back in. Yeah, we weren't, we weren't covering the. The she's no Sarah from the EDL. <laughs> she's not a fitty. She's no Sarah Beanie. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But Sarah Beanie went and she she taught. Channel Four had a whole mm-hmm. like decade, fifteen years of property programs, property porn on TV. When they said to people who had come out of um, school and university and they bought their flats, and Channel Four went, "Don't sell them. What you can do, rip out all the original features, paint them beige, put in laminate flooring, mm-hmm. and then rent them." To somebody five years younger than you, and then they can pay for your mortgage. Yeah. And then they Channel Four did that for ten years. Yeah. House now, Doctor was the same. Yeah, there yeah. was a raft of them. It was, and it was all on Channel. They're 4. all beige. Make yeah. it beige. Make Get it the beige. personality out of it. Uh, Make it beige, beige so you can sell it. Flooring. It's all about money. This yeah, yeah. is just for money. This yeah, is yeah. not for personality. It's not for living. It's money. So I spent my twenties living in these like beige IKEA boxes that yeah. Sarah Beanie designed, giving money away to people who were only five years older than me because they've been taught to do this by Channel Four. Now all the people complaining about. Oh, the Tories are selling Channel 4, and Channel 4 are going, it's not fair. Well, fuck you, because you spent, <laughs> you spent 15 years building an army of super Tory property yeah, owners, yeah, yeah. being like, you, you turn these people into, into you, you create a generation rent. Now all those people are Tory voting. If you breed killer rats and they eat your face, I have absolutely no sympathy <laughs> for you whatsoever. I uh, genuinely, I can't believe that actually being a landlord is legal. Like I like I can't, oh, believe, yeah, I yeah, can't yeah. believe that it's allowed that you go, all right, okay. So you you can buy a house and you can make someone else live in it and they'll pay the mortgage. Yeah. But you and a own little bit house. on top. A little sweet. Yeah, 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 yeah. But 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 then you still own the house. Yeah, at the end of it, they move out, they have nothing, you own the house. So, okay. so I had I so I've I've just rented a, a flat in uh, in Edinburgh for a month for a disgusting amount of money, right? Yeah. How and much they, did you spend? Uh, uh I'd rather not say uh, but it, that means a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. Two thousand Three hundred quid for a month, right? Uh, Which, to, to be fair, is bad, but it's not. It, it's, it's not. They were, it's quite, not, they were quoting like twelve thousand. It's 9, not 000. unusual. I, yeah, I yeah. was. I was, uh, I was m- stupidly happy with it when I got it down like to that level, right? Yeah, no, that's fair enough. Like, but the, with but the, the landlord then came yeah. back when we sort of accepted it. Uh, so the deposit's five hundred quid, and they said, "Oh, the landlord wants a professional clean at the end of the the." Uh, month. So, uh, oh, good. Well, he can pay for that then out uh, of the fucking couple out of, of grand. Huge amount of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The, the six times market rate that he's managed to squeeze out of me. Yeah. So I said, it's all right. I'm a 39 year old adult. I'm going to, I'll leave it how I fi- found it. Yeah. And they went, oh, um, it, it's just one professional claim of 100 pounds. So I came back and said, well, the thing is, uh, my house, which is not a big house, but it is five times the size of this room, yeah. right? For a professional clean of that for two hours plus agency fees is twenty seven quid. So where are we pulling the hundred pound figure out of our asses from? Yeah. Yeah. I said basically, you just said the landlord's managed to steal two thousand three hundred pounds off you for a shithole room that in any other type uh, time of the year is worth about three hundred quid. Yeah. And he'd also like um, he's going to steal a bit of your deposit. So we just sent you an email saying yeah. we intend to steal more money from you. Yeah, and yeah. you have to go. I got in a fight with a, an estate agent once, and she was like, "Why are you getting cross?" And I was like, "Because it's stealing." Yeah. And she was like, well, when they no. charge you 50 quid to photocopy something, there's yeah, a 50 yeah, yeah. quid admin fee, and yeah. you watch them go over and photocopy it and come back. It's like, that's what the 50 quid was, was yeah, it? It's thievery. It's, yeah. So we had to play, we had a flat professionally cleaned, and they were like, and then we got all this stuff back that they basically they were taking off a deposit, and you worked it out. Basically, it was 15% of the deposit, and they come up with these bullshit things. Mm-hmm. And it said, like, removal of dead spider. And I had photographs of the place, like, the day after it had been cleaned. And this woman was just like, she was like, you know, why are you getting so upset about this? Because it's real money and you're stealing. Yeah, yeah. And it's, cle- it's just 15%. It's clearly company policy. It's made yeah. up stuff. Like, this is this is not right. This yeah, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the same thing. When I moved out of um, my uh, house that I was renting to the place that this I owned. This isn't very now. funny, is it? We've just turned it from no, it's like fine. Sh- shit central into an episode no, of the rain. No, 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 it's true. Yeah. Um, so when I moved into this place that I was, I rented there for about a year, yeah. right? Always paid on time. Everything was fine. Yeah. When I left, I had to leave a couch behind, right? And the reason that I had to leave it behind is because I lived in terraced accommodation. Mm-hmm. And, and the you way- shat on it. The way- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. You're like the dog won't even sit on it anymore. I'm not bringing it out with me. Just all chips in the cracks. Yeah. 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 The dog just barks at it now. He hates it, but he doesn't know why. There's evil in the cushions. <laughs> So, because um, it was a terrace house, we couldn't get it through the door. We had to, the way that we got it in was over next doors and then sort of through yeah, yeah. an alleyway. But in, I, in, I, the, in, the, in the time period you lived in the flat, the next door neighbours weren't talking to you anymore. So yeah. that option was shut. Kept leaving his bathroom window yeah. open. <laughs> <laughs> I, had to, I had to peg the washing out in a hazmat suit. <laughs> <laughs> So, so um, they weren't in, and obviously I didn't feel comfortable about doing that. Yeah. I forgot, so I had to leave it there. The couch was, I mean, all jokes aside, it was fine. It was in a fine condition. Uh-huh. But be- All jokes aside, like, this is, <laughs> like, you're selling it afterwards. But, you're up a but link. for real, though, great yeah, yeah, couch, yeah, yeah, lovely yeah. condition. Jo- jokes, joking aside. <laughs> but uh, I said to the landlord, I said, look, that's my fault. Keep 100 quid for, out of my deposit. Mm. Anyway, the estate agents got back to me wanting the whole deposit for the most ridiculous... Two weeks into when we moved there, we had a leak in the um, mm. in the roof and a big chunk of plaster from the uh, hallway fell down, right? And we had someone in to have a look and the bloke went, well, I fixed the leak and he said, I'll be honest, we'd have to replaster the whole thing. Yeah. It's a big job. It'd take two weeks for us being here every day. And I said, right, okay. I said, well, if the landlord's happy with that, I said, you can just leave it like that if you want because I yeah. don't care about it and I'm not going to be here past 12 months. Yeah, It's fine. They tried to charge me 250 quid for it. Yeah. And I was like, no, here's the emails. Mm-hmm. And they went, yeah, but you, it's it's not been fixed and that's how it's left. It's like, yeah. are you guys insane? It's are, your fucking responsibility. Are you insane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. helping you out. There was another thing where they wanted, um, uh, he wanted to repaint it. Yeah. And they, they tried saying, oh, well, you've painted it a different colour. I said, I haven't, I haven't done shit to it. And they went, oh, well, the landlord wants it repainting. Like I was like, bully for him. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, so- it's that thing where people go, "Oh, I bought property as an investment." It was like, no, you turn someone else into a little mortgage uh, yeah. surf for you. It's like if you want to yeah. get into investing, go and surf the FTSE, you fucking cunt. Yeah. Oh my god, I I'm- hate like air, like Airbnbs are getting more and more like this. I had one where like there was like loads of rules everywhere, which makes you feel really welcome when there's a sign on every cupboard telling you not to do shit. Yeah, but and at the end, it was like this big like in the welcome pack. It's like. Big, like, underlined, big, bold font. Like, you must clean the place, leave it clean on the last day. And also, they were charging me, like, 70 quid for a, a cleaner. Yeah. I was like, right, well, I'm not cleaning shit then. Yeah. If I'm paying for a cleaner, I'm fucking leaving my stuff wherever I drop it. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, they can if fucking that pick. That's what that cleaning fee is. Yeah, just, yeah. Just right exactly. If that bloke takes my 100 quid at the end of the month, I'm mm-hmm. going down Prince's Street with the keys and finding the most charming five homeless people I can. And be like, lads, here you go. i to live. That'd be amazing. Yeah. yeah. It pops little squatters in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Enjoy yourself. Can oh, you that'd get... be a brilliant way to fuck up a, a landlord. <laughs> and you wouldn't be able to kick them out that quickly because they've not broken in. No. Nope. So they've not broken that law. So the squatting rules become a bit different. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting the key. You're not putting this out before lunchtime tomorrow because that's when we no, no. the keys. Splendid, lads. That's yeah. uh... <laughs> We're not that efficient, mate. We don't yeah, turn yeah, them around great, that quick. Great, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. You'll be fine. You'll be long gone by then. Yeah, They'll be yeah. in their lovely little house. Yeah. yeah. You know, speaking of the investing thing, uh, um, I have gotten obsessed with a YouTube channel, mm-hmm. and all it is is it documents the biggest fails ever recorded on Wall Street Bets Reddit. Right, yeah. Because right. yeah. Wall Street Bets is a load of people who don't know what the fuck they're talking about going, I reckon this. Yeah, it, it's a casino at 3 a.m. Whenever 100%. Just, they've been kicked out of the club and been like, we can drink Mate, at the end it of It is not investment, park. it is gambling. No, yeah. Yeah. It is just that Robin gambling. Hood, that Robin yeah. Hood is gambling that they can yeah. We know that's what P- not- Piers Morgan made a load of money uh, doing that because they used to have a thing when he was editor of The Mirror. Uh, they used to have a thing where The Mirror told you what, what stocks do. So all it would do is like make a spike of the thing. Yeah, so you, and he you put, buy stock, he put print a, it, he put and then, a load yeah. of money in it. Yeah, the day before running the stock in the paper, and then isn't and then, that illegal? Uh, it it should be, but yeah, <laughs> fucking hell, wild. Um, that. I just love watching people who think that they know what they're doing. Yeah, and then they upload the next day like a little graph that just goes. It does. The graph doesn't even tail off. The graph just is a yeah. cliff yeah, face. Yeah, 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 I have very yeah. much enjoyed watching the NFT crash for that. Like, there's been a lot of cunts lost a lot of money. Is I fucking up- I fucking uploaded a hundred NFTs. 
for Piggott. I made a hundred NFTs for Piggott. Right, and so the flat we, earthers didn't want them, mate. So no, honestly, <laughs> the market the crashed. The paid the curvature of the earth. <laughs> Anti-vax NFT. The market it. crashed about a week after I did it, and it took me a month. So, yeah. Yeah. I did you the, think they were going to be valuable? Pigoted NFT. No, 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 no. No. The podcast doesn't even fucking exist anymore. I do so, a podcast <laughs> where I talk about shitting myself in no, my car. So, so we have like, get in. Oh, oh, that's an investment <laughs> opportunity. <laughs> investment. So he has. <laughs> Can we NFT prolapses? <laughs> Yeah, the NFTs were just like diptychs of my shit. So. Oh my god! <laughs> um, so, Freddie, just stay the fuck away from crypto, okay? I worry about. You. I've got some crypto. Of course yeah. you have. Yeah, <laughs> it's got quite a bad gambling problem. <laughs> I, I, well, I've got a good gambling problem now in that, like, I only gamble uh, specific. I made over a grand on the horses over the last couple of months. Sure, but like gamblers always tell you this, yeah, and it's yeah. like, yeah, let's extrapolate that out. Yeah. Like, let's look at a longer got a s- sample of data. I've got a system from the man yeah. who makes pizza burritos. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, what I do, what I do is you I turn, an NFT. What I do is I turn up at the track and I feed, I feed a pizza burrito to every horse except the one I've bet on. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the time they get halfway around, yeah, it's just DNF, 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 <laughs> winner, DNF, DNF. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell, that horse won by 70 lengths. Yes. I've run out of shotgun shells. <laughs> no, they don't shoot them because it's Just like... in the nets round. They don't, they don't shoot them because it's like a fucking piñata of rock. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah, I do have some crypto. I have... Um, sure. Uh, so, so I, I bought... Uh, Dogecoin. So, mm-hmm. uh, no, I didn't buy Doge. I actually bought Shiba Inu Is that right? specifically... Is that cat food? <laughs> <laughs> no. Everyone's doing it now. I'll go to the cat food one. I think it's... he used to play for Villa in the nineties. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking minted now. I bought it because I thought that people are going to be so stupid and lazy that they're going to go. That's the next dog-based coin. Okay. And it did. It spiked like fuck. So it's it's that's returned. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I regularly buy uh, crypto and then spend it on drugs on the internet. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's the thing about people when they talk about uh, cryptocurrency. They're like, yeah, I got in. Uh, I got into crypto really early. And you're like, okay, until recently, very recently, the only three things you could buy with crypto mm-hmm. were drugs, guns, and indecent images of children. Yeah. So like, so I unle- got in very early. Yeah. So yeah, unless, yeah. You, unless you look like a drug user or you're a bit handy with a weapon, it'll give yeah, you a bit yeah. of a wide berth. Yeah. And those guys in suits being like, got in See, really the fir- early. The first Why? Bitcoin I ever bought was seven pounds. For nice. a Bitcoin, right. for a whole one. Whole and I one. spent it on weed. Right. And I bought like 50 quid's worth of weed with Bitcoin there. So, like, do the maths on how much that Bitcoin's worth now. It's like hundreds of thousands of pounds. Yeah. yeah. So, like, it's like, some good weed, though. So, I don't, I don't yeah, complain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, you can't, you can't, uh, regret, I was never, it wasn't in, these things. It wasn't an investment. It was just a currency exchange so I could buy weed. Yeah. It's like, all if you totted up all the pints you've ever bought and all yeah. the holidays you've been on, you'd be like, oh, that's a really nice flat. It's like, no, you just. Yeah, going along at time. Yeah, I'd rather have the daily weed than a flat. Yeah, yeah, because I'd just be grumpy in a nice flat. You know, you will be a nightmare, wouldn't you, if you if if you didn't have uh, narcotics to level you out. Yeah, like to the extent that like my missus was a bit wary when we first got together because like her brother's a big big stoner and she was just like, oh, you know, is he just going to be like? And, like now it's at the point where she was like, do you want to go and smoke some weed? You know, she just it just Perhaps levels me out. Calm down. Yeah, it just levels me out. Like I'm a you know I'm a, I'm a mad fuck, so I need something yeah. just to knock the edges. When up. I first started working with Rob, I was very suspicious about. His it was ADHD. like he doesn't have ADHD. Thought Within like bollocks. two weeks, it was like ah oh, no, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like um, it's very in now. Yeah, exactly. I'm right. Gonna, bang on trend. Are you going to Edinburgh this year? No, but I thought You're missing out. There's going to be too got... many ADHD shows, and also I don't think comedians doing an ADHD show should be a thing. Like it's like fifty percent. Of us, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. you know, there's too many for it to be your unique story, yeah, yeah. Next year, they're gonna be like, Oh, I actually got diagnosed with narcissism, yeah. yeah really, really oh, mate, that's a plague in comedy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I'm really unique because I'm the only narcissist there was a comedian. there was actually, a I got told I was a sociopath, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Do you know I can't what? wait for someone to do the sociopath show, yeah. so, so there's a few, yeah. There was a uh, comedian, uh, sorry, a, a agent who represents loads of disabled comedians, mm. let's call him. Andrew Smoach. So, um, okay. So he uh, literally his whole thing is just like people with disabilities, mm-hmm. and he was wittering about how um, you know when it comes to diversity, we should actually have more diverse lineups of comedians with mental health issues. 
And it's like, well, that'll be all of us then, will it? Yeah. Well, does he mean real ones? <laughs> oh, or, right. or the, like the yeah, self-diagnosed the, middle-class ones that people. I think. Are. And there's means... also different levels. There's oh, I feel a bit anxious, or like oh, I'm dead sad. And then there's I'm throwing my shit at traffic. You yeah, know, yeah, there's, yeah. There's... But comedians are like going up to do the show and being like, I experience a normal range of human emotions. Yeah. So yeah. I'm special. And you go, no, no, no. That's not. That's yeah, not, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. a thing. Like, yeah. Yeah, but you can't sell an Edinburgh show off that, can you? No, no, you can't. You're going to be like, I am I'm saddest. Yeah. There's a really good, I was um, the most molested. Yeah, there's a really good... Uh, <laughs> like I'm Spartacus. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't have I'm Spartacus in uh, in comedy. It wouldn't work. Because they show up and someone go, the Romans would show up and go, which one's Spartacus? And they go, Spartacus, he's over there. Can I have his stuff? Yeah. <laughs> 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 there's no way. Yeah, yeah, there's no fucking loyalty. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Spartacus. Yeah. Yeah. Or, 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 or there'd be loads of other ones going, do you know what? I didn't even rate Spartacus, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. No, he's, he's not really done his time. Yeah. Bit of a hat using a spear cheating. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear he just got signed by the Romans? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a soldier story. Um, <laughs> Should we um, watch some videos? All right, yeah. Like so, before we do, uh, so we have like we have people send us in like real fun videos, right? If anyone yeah. wants to send one in, it's WhatsApp. Send it to oh seven five two oh six four four nine three one. Now, please be aware do, that some of them could get uh, Freddie and Rob uh, put in prison. <laughs> yeah, they'll they'll send more of them if we say that. Uh, well, um, it's actually not getting Freddie put in prison. It's Rob's phone. No, so but it's Freddie's company. It's um, not my it's company. It's, it's, it's I've, name, I've so got you, no idea. You, you have. Executive control over the videos. Um, I've got that on record. Do I? So I have executive control over everything else. No. Okay. Um, so, like, just before we do, is there is there anything in particular that like you you would upset you? Is there anything that like turns your stomach? Is there anything in particular that's like a thing? Like Mick Ferry can't see beans touching egg, right? Like uh, Jamie Hutchinson can't watch people eating mash, stuff like that. <laughs> I know. Mine are more just common or gone variety. Uh -huh. um, actually, I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind uh, shit. Um, I've 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 got a toddler, so I'm quite and cool, cool. Yeah, tolerant. You'll be dog. needing that tolerance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. Um, I'd rather not uh, see. Ah, uh, oh, fuck it. Just, just let's shift. fucking go. Injury? Yeah. How are you with injury? Right. Well, let let's start. Well, it depends entirely on whether can or not we, it's funny. Can we? Can we start? Uh, or, or, or if it's like if um, I, I really like. like I find uh, mindless vandalism uh, very funny. Yeah, yeah, I like a bit yeah, of that. So, yeah. Um, right. Well, uh, this might be a result of mindless vandalism. Now, I want to reassure you before we start. Yeah. We got told no one died. Right. No one died. It's a good start. They never. Like, they never gave you that assurance. and you've been framed. Can we go for Megatron Part One, please? Right. There we go. I'm no, I remember, that there's, all, there's also a part two. No so. one died. Oh my God! <laughs> so, it's it's like so it's a big concert. It's like a K-pop band or something. It's like an Asian uh, have music that, group. Yes. Yeah, oh yes. And like a part two is actually just the same from a different angle. Oh, lovely. Like so. Whoa! Oh, my the giant screen above God. the stage falls down and it right on someone's head and flattens it. It flattens yeah. them. So if we have a look at part two, we can see it from a wider angle. You can get a bit more of the context. Oh, you know? my. Here we go. Here we go. <gasps> oh, dear God. That's a, that screen is huge. And then it takes down someone else as well when it flops. That screen is enormous. It's huge. It's, it's like funny in context, isn't it? Because <laughs> you're like... No, that's they're not. Oh yeah, they're badly hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong, they're not dead, but the, the, that is life changing. Yeah. How, like, <laughs> how have they not just been cutting off? Oh, no, it's so, it's insane. so, in that, it's so huge. It's like a twenty foot screen. That, that, that must weigh like a ton. First, surely. Like, first yeah. angle again. First angle, very funny though. Yeah, very yeah, yeah, funny because yeah, yeah. it comes from off screen. I see, I was expecting like you saying. <laughs> And the guy, the guy behind, tries to hold it up really yeah. optimistically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you don't understand even briefly how heavy if that's going to be. That's how they eliminated people from Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> <and watch it. laughs> that's what the red X button does. It drops a screen. Yeah. <laughs> so like, lost voice guy rolls out. <laughs> you have no idea. Like it had to be a different thing each, uh, each yeah, episode different. or each thing. But yeah, fucking amazing that, isn't it? Yeah, oh. absolutely. It just folds him. Yeah, absolutely. Fucks him like, up. You know that Get you, well you, soon. You know that YouTube video of the guy doing um, 
when your man jumped from space, the Red Bull thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. guy does like a tribute video. Felix Baumgartner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so he does a tribute sort of YouTube video. Felix Baum, the Red Bull uh, so Stratos fail. There we it's go. The, it's the second one. The second it's one. The second oh, one. epic roof jump fail. Yeah. Oh, uh, what is he doing? Is That's he trying like to a... jump onto a big ball? It's like a medicine ball. Can we have the volume up a little? He'd like to thank Red Bull for the opportunity. So he's yeah. sculling a Red Bull. He's going Red Bull. He's, that's not even a Red Bull. It's a relentless. A that was a relentless one. Oh, yeah, that's part of the joke. You don't see them that's anymore. Part, that's, that's, part, that's part of the joke. Right, okay. That's part of the joke. He gets his space suit on. Look. That looks like... Yeah. Oh, I thought it was like a Klansman hat then. No, no, no. He's <laughs> it does got, look he's a little bit. The, he's gone for the last thing. He's got his gloves on. He's yeah. making it. This is. Sometimes you have to go really high. Sometimes you have to go see really high. See how small you really are. Oh, God. He's going to... He's home now. Just wait for it. Oh no, he's gonna jump on this. He's he just wait, wait, wait. Oh! Ah! That's a broken coccyx, isn't it? That's that's vertebrae done. Now, that's not a screen hitting you. He's made a series of decisions there. <laughs> He just misses it, 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 it completely. Slow -mo. It even rolls towards to help him. Oh, you, mi you, missed, you, missed, you missed the slow-mo. Spin it, spin it back a bit, show the slow-mo version. The video goes on for ages as the... Um, right. The thud here. Oh, oh, you just hear the pop. Yeah. You hear something like vertebrae popping. Yeah. Oh, he's done Again, that, that is eh? potentially life-changing, that. Yeah, no, he's all right because his legs are moving. The uh, Sure, he's not paralysed, but his yeah. back's not going to be the same. No, I mean, I think he'll be all right. It's not that high, but the... He seems to be in quite a bit of discomfort. Yeah, he's, you're, he's, trying to, he's trying to make a viral video and he succeeded. So he's <laughs> true. He was like, "This will be absolutely great." But I don't know what he thought was going to happen. I think he thought he'd land on the big ball, flip, and there'd be a big flippy thing, and then he'd land on himself and it'd hurt a bit. But if he could have broken his neck, if he bounced yeah. and like hit the wall or something, oh, loads could have gone yeah, yeah, really yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it did. Yeah, it's gone very. Oh, there's a slow mo. Go on. Yes, yeah, slow mo it. Oh, it's so, so it's because there's nothing cushioning it at yeah, all. Yeah, it's I mean, so it does, hard. It doesn't even hit it at all. It's straight down. Uh, I think the girl who's there really shocked, going, "You could have held the ball because it did." No, it rolled towards where he was going though. It's helpful the roll, if anything. He's just wildly overshot it. <laughs> to be fair, yeah. especially the way that he's jumped and the angle that he's jumped. Yeah, that's I would argue one of the best things that could have happened to him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's, uh, he's. I mean, nah. I think that, that that that's pretty pretty low down on the list of things you would. Hope I can't believe would you haven't seen that. That's a real. Yeah. That's a real classic. That's YouTube. beautiful. Thank themselves. you very much. Yeah, yeah. You're making a contribution. We've got we've got an absolute banger here. If we can, we watch Pinky and No Brain, please. <laughs> that's really funny. Yeah, that's how it was sent to us. The caption and it is spot on. Oh wait a minute. What is this? Just pause it a sec. Pause so, it. what is happening here is... It looks like some sort of... I can see red cups with alcohol in them. Uh -huh. so, so, we're in American Backyard, I think. He's going to cut his finger off. I don't want He's to got see his that. pinky in some shears. Right. Well, if you don't want to see that, I'd recommend not looking over there. Does he owe money to the Mafia? Or is <laughs> he just... I don't know. Maybe he's just... Yeah, it's, this is like a Yakuza thing, isn't it? When you've told yeah, the lion yeah, the Yakuza. Yeah, yeah. What does he think will happen next? What's he expecting to get out of this? Because he's got his finger. He's voluntarily. This is a thing out of part. He's like, I'll cut my finger off. Yeah. yeah. He's got some. Fi he's got his finger in some shears. Yeah. They're literally in there. Yeah. What yeah. does he think's gonna like? Like they're gonna be. His nails are gonna be. This trimmed? isn't an what? accident though. This is, this is on purpose. What is it like a hazing or something? I I what? don't know the context, mate. I just know. Go on, play that it. This man is a hero. Play it. I can't watch that. Go on. <gasps> Can you rewind it so Garrett has to watch it, please? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty squeamish. Yeah, yeah well, oh, have a little Garrett. No, why? Is, why? Why? No. <laughs> That's not funny. That's just horrible. It's quite funny watching you watch it. <laughs> That's just not nice. Oh my god, his finger's fucked. Yeah. Why is he yeah, so li fucking li life changing? Why is he so chill about it? I mean, it? a pinky's not life changing. Like you can get, you know, you he's might have to play, buy a different brand of gloves. He's not playing the piano anymore. Why is he so chill about it? Why? Is well, he... some people uh, I've read in. Look, my, he, my, look, he's like, he oh, looks like he's coked up or something. Fiddle dee diddle dee dee. I've well, he's got... on something because he's not screaming. But like, there's a um, a flatmate of mine used to buy. I don't know if it's still going. This is going back about twenty years. Used to buy a Bizarre magazine. Yeah, I used to read Bizarre. Yeah, yeah. You shocked me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 
and, uh, <laughs> how have I ended up here? Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I read a magazine, and now, <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, there was some guy, and there was an article about going there who had just like cut a load of his fingers off, and he was like, I like it. I like having like stumps rather than fingers yeah and he was like oh no i can do everything i can touch type and blah. he was like i started all off right with roll one. a joint <laughs> yeah so i started off with one and then I was, over the years we've done all the others and he's just like i like it and like going yeah cool it's like that woman who, who blinded herself because she was like i just really wanted to be blind and you're like yeah i mean there does need to be some professional just, intervention there at some point yeah get like some dark goggles yeah yeah and whatever close you, your fucking eyes yeah but like the guy jumping off the roof like yeah. i can see he thought, he's doing i'm gonna, I'm gonna, be a, gonna I'm do gonna a stunt legend. i'll be a legend yeah, 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 it's fun yeah, yeah. yeah this it, is a bit of that this is a guy going you know showing off to his mates yeah but, but, but in a ridiculous not a, not a way. Stunt. Oh, I no. bet you I can cut my finger off. Yeah. Like. It's not it's not impressive. Yeah, it's just sh- mental. Yeah. But no, uh, I, did, I did not enjoy that. I don't want to see that anymore. All right. Can we, well, have, can we the, have that again, please? Can we have the screen with the <laughs> Can we the... can we go to the end and see what actually happens? Can we like can we see, can we just fast forward a bit and see how he ends up? <laughs> Wait, what? No. No. He's going to a fucking electric fence. Don't tell me he's going to put his severed finger on the electric fence. He is, look. Oh, my dear Lord. Oh, no. He's putting a screwdriver through it. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh. Ah! They've cut it off. They got the rest of it off with a screwdriver. How's he explaining that at A&E? <laughs> it's a very clean cut. Yeah, yeah. There was a, I was in A&E in Hackney once, and there were a, a group of people who uh, had stab wounds because they'd been in a... a a disagreement with some other gentlemen. Mm, and right. We, were, we've learned on this podcast, if someone's got a knife, don't fight them. Yeah, well, they they, they were sort of sat there waiting because um, I had uh, an... Uh, I Gout. Had, yeah, I had an infected spider bite, actually. Um, and so my arm had all swollen up. But I wanted to go home, and I was sort of in a queue behind all these guys who were like, right, okay, we'll get you stitched up, then we're going to go and get them here, and then we're going to go out to do it again. And I was like, could I go in front of them? Yeah, like because this yeah. is—I've been here three hours, and to be honest, I think I need an, like some sort of injection or maybe some cream or something, yeah. and then I can go home. These guys are going to be back in and here, and they should, I know National Health Service free at the point of source. Yeah, Everyone yeah. should get them, but I think if you rock up and you're like you've got knives and stuff, and you're just like, yeah, you just need him stitched up quickly, and then we're gonna. Yeah. I think you should be like yeah no I you lower down in the queue yeah. still get still get treated but tomorrow yeah, not priority. I'm sorry when you cooled off. I've said yeah. this yeah. on many occasions like that guy who jumped off onto the space ball and broke his fucking coccyx he should be paying for his own NHS treatment yeah no nah, yeah. see I do, I disagree with that because I am a fucking moron right and I need morons to be protected right I like uh, the fail blog YouTube videos and stuff yeah. from people for other things just thought actually that guy cut his pinky off it's in America yeah he's got to pay for the healthcare. Yeah, that's not going to be covered by insurance. No, no insurance company would. No, yeah. how how comprehensive would your insurance have to be that if you cut your own pinky off, they'll pay for it? What if he got infected and he got like sepsis? I think it's getting infected, yeah, mate. Yeah, They've yeah, done yeah. it in a field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they knocked a but, bit of it off with a fucking screwdriver. But then, wouldn't you feel like you're in bed? You're like, yeah, it was a fun night, but yeah, yeah, I do mate. Feel, the fear oh, in the silly. morning. I feel silly when now. you wake up in the morning after that night. I reckon he's gone over to his missus. He's like, guess who's a member of the gang? <laughs> guess who's a member of the No Pinky Boys? Yeah, and I reckon all the other No Pinky Boys have their pinkies. I um, reckon he's probably the only how one. How did you come up with this as a format point for this show? Uh, we, he, on ripped the first... it, he ripped it off your mum's house. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's stolen <laughs> yeah. from America. No, no said, that's legit. What we said on the first episode was just send us the worst video on your phone. Uh, we just said that, and then it snowballed. There's one yeah. here. I can read those on there. The yeah. second one says Dirty Protest. Yeah. Yeah. Now I feel like that's got promise. Yeah, yeah that's right, got, go for that's it. Got, that's yeah, I'd like to protest. see. I'd like to see a protest. I support people's right to protest. Yeah. And by dirty, I sp- oh what? What? Oh <laughs> no! So, this is an African American woman in an argument, ending it. Right. Yeah, she she she's, she's she pulls her pants down and projectile shits onto a car. Yeah, and it's like projectile as well. It fires out. Is that what yours was like after the chip pizza? That's what I was about to yeah. say. I mean, this is this is not a uh, that's not a, a protest that many of us would have in our arsenal, uh, so to speak. I don't but think you, I could do that. No, I don't think I could. Like, and it'd be really embarrassing if you pulled your trousers and pants down to try and shit on someone. I, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I I, love... I've had some worrying moments at music festivals, but I don't yeah, think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We've I all like, come close. Yeah. I like the idea that she started the day right by having a fucking pizza burrito, a pizza burrito mm, tuna sandwich like, just in case i get into an argument with anyone today i'm prepared i'm prepared for <laughs> whatever the day might throw at me yeah. well is it that thing that some people can do that um, that's that two girls one cup video another mm-hmm. internet classic that that's like people shoving ice cream up their ass and and knowing how to squeeze it out yeah so which is uh, it's still not good no no it's not but it's a it's a learnt skill so sure. perhaps that lady yeah had, look she's just got good that. control yeah, I reckon she's doing a lot that. of kegels yeah she might I don't reckon she puts skill. it on a CV though does she yeah uh, depends on what she does for a living you know <laughs> yeah. there are certain places where that would be you know uh, valued name one uh, a dungeon of some kind <laughs> <laughs> where, where unsavoury businessmen went a dungeon you know <laughs> Like, um, yeah, no, we need someone to, to squirt yeah, yeah. shit there's, at the visitors. There's a market. Yeah, Look, yeah. we've seen there is a market for this. Um, yeah. Dave, could you go back into just videos, if you go back uh, on the menu, and then um, uh, the, there is a, a classic I want to show you before we show you a new one. Oh, sure. So if we go to uh, Drill, Jesus. it's just called Drill. Right. Uh, down and right, oh, there you go. So this is, this is a classic, one of I our absolute the, classics. Oh, yeah. State of your hard drive. Right. No! <laughs> What? Yeah. I was on a village in the Isle of Wight this morning. Uh, <laughs> no. No, no. Right, so no, if no. we go back you, to you the, the folder into... we were in before, Dave, um, it's it's just called Garrett, the uh, the photo, like, uh, the folder. I've named it after you. Um, and then if we go, <laughs> you it, are welcome, you're Garrett. You're welcome. It's, it's, I've never been happier that um, someone so got spell my name. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so we, ha- we have uh, yeah. been sent in uh, like sort of a, a sequel, if you will. Can we go to Drill Redux, please, which is what I've named it. Um, here we go. No, that's not okay. Oh my god! Yeah. This is a man do- drilling his He's own. Got two bits. Wow, that's thick. Uh, that's look how thick. long it is. Look how long that is. Jesus. Oh my god. But he's gonna. You, eventually, you're gonna do damage. Look to- how deep into it it is. Look no, how no, much he pulls no, out. That, that's enough. That- look how much he pulls out. Well, I saw a glitch That's of- like that far yeah, down yeah, yeah, your dick. I'm, and I'm saying he's gonna damage his, his, yeah. his valves and stuff. I think that's not gonna be great for your knob. No. 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 <laughs> I mean, again, I'm no knob doctor. Oh, God. But luckily, reckon... we have someone who is. Gay Dave? That's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is worse. That's worse than the piggy. Can we have uh, some more random acts of people getting hurt with things falling on them? Um, is let's that just have good a clean look. fun? Um, oh, right. Okay. Well, similar. Yeah. Yeah. Can we have don't go chasing waterfalls, please? Yeah, that sounds... That sounds... Yeah, it sounds nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Uh, uh, someone throwing a waterfall up there. So, so there's a waterfall. <laughs> yeah, some people hanging boring. out. It's like a tourist attraction. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's classic, my that's classic. God. classic. Whoops. See, that's someone falling off a waterfall. No, no, yeah. it's all right there because the, the broke his fall. Yeah. And then she, she this moved. is it. He's not dead, but again, yeah. legs onto, broken. Onto the rocks below. No, yeah. I reckon he'd get sprained ankles and that. I th- it's not going to be nice there? anyway. But yeah, he, 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 like, you, see, you see, he actually slides down. The exactly. Actual, so that breaks f- his fall yeah, a bit. Yeah, 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 and like he lands on his legs with some spring, unlike the guy jumping off the roof. So there's a bit of a crumple zone. So, you know, my mate Sam, who who uh, came to the Pigoted recording with me, who uh, lives up here. Oh, yes. Th- yeah, he, when when we were younger, he tried to break into my house, and I lived on the third floor of, of this house. And um, he climbed up the waste pipe, and he got right within like my bedroom window, like very close to it. And then the pipe came away, and he fell 28 feet onto the flat of his back, and was fine. And we had two A frames in the garden that we'd been like making doors on yeah. for this play we were doing. And he he fell in between the A frames, like a oh couple God. of foot on this side. It was snapped him too. But he was just like he took some paracetamol and went to bed. But 28. 28 feet yeah. didn't spray anything he bruised the he bruised the soles of his feet do you make uh, Mick Foley like, how the fuck's he managed this <laughs> oh because so, he was he was he was pissed and he um, so he's so, limp so, so he's yeah, limp. yeah yeah so we're going down going bang and then he um, I've told this story a few times before on, on stage but then I asked him to fix we went away for a bit and I said you got to fix the waste pipe yeah on the back of the house uh, and he said he had and he hadn't and we got in and my mate's like down on the ground floor doing the washing up and I went upstairs for a shit and then I flushed the toilet and this hurricane of like piss and bog paper came flying down and smashed the kitchen window just as JD like looks up
up and sees my shit like sailing down and lands in the middle of the patio. And then he came upstairs and was just like, you just shared the garden. And I was like, oh, fuck. So we didn't have wellies or anything. So I got a Sainsbury's bags on my feet. And then JD's doing the washing up. Dan gets a desk lamp and he's shining it out into the garden. So I'm trying, this is like two o'clock in the morning we got back. And he's, he's shining a light in the garden for me to find my shit that's just gone sailing all the way down. Surely so, you deal with that in the morning. Yeah, no, I was going to no, say, no, it feels no, like no. a morning problem. We were, we were like, no, no, we've got to deal with it now. Uh, we're like, my flat's we've got to get it now. So we're like, yeah, so we got, got it in the bag. I got, got it in the wheelie bin. And we were like, fine. But I, I was looking at this. I was picking up my own shit. Like, going, and JD's like uh, behind the kitchen window, like doing the washing up, going, oh, Jesus Christ. And he's like laughing and Dan's laughing. And then they're like, everyone's like hysterical, like crying, laughing. And then JD gets hit in the face by the smell coming from the garden. And he pukes on the washing up. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I looked through, I looked through, through this, this kitchen window, just covered in piss and bits of bog paper, <laughs> picking up my own shit, watching my mate puke all over the washing up. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Garrett still made sure he got the deposit back. Yeah. <laughs> but, but we, we didn't know. So the next day we were like, okay, we were like, well, we never went. We'd been living there for three months. We never went in the garden again. But basically, there was all this. We didn't. We didn't have a hose. Really. That's such a student way to solve yeah, it. Yeah, it's not our problem. Yeah, yeah. No, we don't have a garden. So what we did, we were like, we couldn't work. We were like, oh, because it was sort of muck down the side of the house. The worst thing is, like, uh, I woke up the next morning, forgot I'd done it, and did it again. Oh, oh no! And then so, well, but but then on the side of the house, you had like bits of bog paper and this piss all, over, and the garden was all covered in wee. So we we're like, what do we do? So we didn't we didn't have a solution to the problem. So we we're like, ah, oh, I know what we'll do. So we just put loads of fairy liquid in the toilet, and we like flushed the toilet like ten times to try and like rain cleanliness on the garden. What the fuck? Because we thought we didn't have a hose or anything. We were like, how do you? So we we're like, that will do it. But then unfortunately, you buy a hose. <laughs> We were like, no. how much we is a nine, hose? We were nineteen. You don't come up with solutions like we're like. We just it was it came from that area, so we just get clean water from the same thing. It will clean the thing, and it killed everything in the garden. All this bleach, but it also c- killed like everything in like two gardens over. And so you had like neighbours coming around going, "Be like, everything in our garden's dead." We're like, "Yeah, ours too." And they're like, "Yes, but your garden does seem to be sort of like the epicenter <laughs> of destruction. <laughs> like, have you any idea what's going on?" We're like, "We've no idea." What you're talking about? Anyway, goodbye. Close the door. I did a gig down there. Um, <laughs> this is this is like 15, 16 years ago. Um, actually, I'm slightly longer than that now. It was 2005, and I. Um, but I did a gig uh, probably about five years ago around the corner from this house, and there's a car park around the back of it. And I parked up there, and there is still to this day on that building there are still bits of bog paper stuck. <laughs> so oh the my bits god bits of your shit remain there <laughs> yeah it's like uh, it's like bullets in Kosovo yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're left there um, but yeah so that that was <laughs> that story uh, that was in one of my first uh, sets amazing but so we've, we've gone shit heavy today it's been very scatological yeah which is That's very a, much the vibe yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I I, I, I I'm just glad that there's been no threat of violence or... Um, yeah, no, very little threat of violence. Yeah. Just, you know, Freddie might shit himself. That's the worst that's going to happen. No racist conspiracy theories. Mm, well, we, we save those when we're off camera, don't yeah, we, Freddie? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, so, drill redux. What's, um, speaking of, yeah, racism, what's fancier Chinese? All right, let's have a little watch, yeah. That's what it's called, fancier Chinese. It is what it's called, yeah. yeah. Is that part three of the telly video? Well, on this squad... I'm outside the takeaway shop in order shop. And the man's having a wank. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you fucking dirty wanker. You that, vile, vile man. That's so Girl. funny. Yeah. He is, so there's a guy just in the front of a Chinese restaurant. Uh, Yellow like, River. Well, uh, ironically named. Uh, he's there. Yeah, he's just having a little tug in the window. Show that again. I'm outside the takeaway shop in order shop. And the man's having a wank. Yo! Just go in the back. You fucking dirty wanker. It's the you most boy, open boy, bit man. you could possibly also, have. Also, I love how when he gets caught, he just leads to the side. Yeah, but that is a good move. What else yeah. are you going to do, right? You're caught, knob out. But, like... The just... only thing that makes that better is if 
He has nothing to do with the Chinese. He's just, <laughs> he's just, he's just ordered one. Yeah, he's just waiting. And, and the, the owners... This of, Kong Pao's been yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. ages. <laughs> the owners of Yellow River have absolutely no idea why their Just Eat reviews have just... <laughs> well, like, if we're down in Aldershot, I'm going to go visit Yellow River. I'm not going to eat anything, but, you know... I, I say, I, I, I don't think you'll survive. Yeah. <laughs> Should we see what the reviews are like? Give me a sec. Let me All see right, for Yellow can. River, Aldershot. Yeah. Yellow River older shots. There we go. He's got any Google reviews? <laughs> Permanently closed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there we go. So, that is not so, a business so that survived the, the, the COVID reviews. lockdown. The Gordon Ramsay uh, couldn't sort that out. <laughs> Mate, what an episode of <laughs> yeah, Kitchen yeah, yeah, Nightmares. Yeah. It's wanking in the windows. Fuck's sake. Fucking wanking in the fucking windows. <laughs> is that your Gordon Ramsay impression? Yeah, just say fuck loads, innit? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. 1.6 1. 1. Uh, stars. Why are you a fucking wanker? <laughs> uh, Trip advisor, disgusting, avoid. That's the first one. Yeah. Uh, wowee. This is the worst food I have ever had. Come on, this is supposed to be a, bit a po- salty. <laughs> this is supposed to be a posh area, a posh area, is it not? I don't expect oh, to have water injected pork. All right, like get Chicken yourself, get over tape. yourself, yeah, older yeah, yeah, yeah. shot. You're, you're, you're definitely, you're the wanking in the window place. You know. Reviews on this. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> So somebody's left this as a um, someone's left this as a review. The spicy sausage was excellent, if a little over pulled. Uh, hey, you're wanking. That's extraordinary. Yeah. My God, someone's put here. Ask for Wan King. He does a great special sauce. Yeah. God, great the internet. That's a horrible place. That's not. That's not. I mean, he's he's jeopardised a lot of people's livelihoods there with that. Mm. It doesn't sound like the food was very good, but um, no, that is a that's that's poor. That is a, that is a business ending decision he's yeah, made. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This was two years ago, apparently. Right. Yeah. Someone's put on this. Lauren Gould. Fuck it. I'll say her name. Someone presumed to work here as just now twentieth of the seventh, twenty twenty. Oh, so this was during COVID. Oh, fair enough. Oh, you? he's well away from people. <laughs> no one's <laughs> walking around. Restrictions. Yeah, the guy filming's people. in the wrong. Yeah, yeah he should yeah. be at home. Yeah, he's yeah. not had to cook a meal in months. And the business has been closed <laughs> and he's <laughs> depressed and he's like, I might as well wank in the shop yeah. for it. It's going That's down how you the get... pan. And then some guy <laughs> who's breaking restrictions is booting him when he's down. <laughs> and up to that video. Shame <laughs> on you. as well. That will have been, 20th of the 7th will have been the darkest time for the business. There's no coming back from this. If he'd have just waited 10 days for that wank, he would have done eat out to help out. And yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's, uh, yeah, that is, that's, that's, that's bang in the middle of, of yeah. lockdown one. Maybe that he was just trying to keep people two metres away from him. So get back. Well, he's, uh, maybe, maybe his whole family living upstairs or whatever, like in the place that they're all, they've got COVID. So he's like, you got to yeah. isolate down in the shop. Yeah, but still, even in that shop, if you want to have a wank, go behind the counter. Yeah, I mean, it's... It, it, he's chosen the worst place you could. <laughs> yeah. He's actually chosen the most, if you're going to have a wank somewhere, that's the most sanitized place. So you don't want to do it in the kitchen. Sure, he would have sure. never got caught. But as we, in the as we, yeah, but never it, got caught. But, in but as we've discussed, the kitchen wasn't operating at the time. Yeah, and you can clean a kitchen yeah. down. Mm. Like, you know. well, presumably, they've got an employee's bathroom. Yeah, nip in there. Just you know, literally anywhere that isn't the shop front. Yeah. So, where's, um, so where's the weirdest place you've so, had a wank? So if you're watching... I'm not really a public wanker. I've had sex in loads of weird places, but like, you know, I'll just wait till I get home if I want to wank. What if the Chinese is taking a really long time? Then, you know, I do what nature intended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rob, weird, uh, weirdest place you've had a wank, Garrett? Um, well, a boarding school, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, weirdest place you've had a wank on your own? <laughs> um... Yeah, I mean, mine was I mean, an aeroplane. There you go. What, Jesus, you, you solo mile high club. Yeah, yourself. solo mile high club on an aeroplane. I, how do you fit in that toilet? You are sorry. How do you even fit in the toilet? I bet you... he was just going to France or something like an hour. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. <laughs> just off to <laughs> Amsterdam. Yeah. <laughs> I where, bet, where are you going? Oh, just Edinburgh. It's yeah. twenty minutes. Up no, there. I bet here's, here's how you did it. Here's, here's what is what I reckon your technique was. You sort of plop your belly and groin over the toilet, creating a vacuum seal, Jesus and then flush Christ. it so it like viciously sucks you. I was just about to say, given the beginning of the conversation we had in this afternoon, it's definitely not the worst thing he's done in an airport. That is toilet. true. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather you had a wank than a shit. Yeah. Like you know, because your your cum's not going to smell as bad. Hopefully, Jesus. you'd rather I had a wank than a shit. Than your shit. Okay, yeah. so if when I next go to your house, no, you're not welcome anymore. The studio's <laughs> not in my house. You're not invited. 
<laughs> would so you have been done. more angry if I'd have done a wank at one of my horrible shirts? I would have been confused if you'd had a wank. I would have been like, what about our conversation set you off? You know? Yeah, this is a. I mean, this has been quite the way to spend a Sunday afternoon. I've got. Thanks, say, mate. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. one of the least sexy ways you could spend an afternoon. Oh, I think. Uh, yeah. Have you um, Have you got anything you'd like to plug before we wrap up? What to anyone who might have enjoyed this? <laughs> yeah, that is the problem. It is only our scum fans who are watching. So, yeah, let's plug Finn Taylor's show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck it. Um, yeah, I've got a, I've got a special out on YouTube. If you uh, yeah, get that watched. Get it watched now. Go watch it straight. Put away. a link in the comments. How about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we don't do that. So yeah, produce. You know, someone else do that. Now it's now stand up. There's 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 no references to. Um, to shitting or anything in it. Ah, oh, why bother then? Oh, no, no, it's but, still funny. Get but it there's, there's a beautiful bit of Mandarin in there. There is a beautiful bit of Mandarin in there, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, hey, there's a reason to watch. Barbecue. Yeah, but get it watched. Also, you're up at Edinburgh, aren't you? I am up at Edinburgh for the nice. whole month. The Monkey Barrel, 20 past six. Cool. New show, just trying to help. So if you are up, I've been, I've been assured that the dead men talking are the nicest audience around they are really lovely they're all uh, they're all fucking weirdos and like they are um, massive piss takers like we can't put anything online without people rinsing us because it's they, they like a laugh yeah but uh, great audience they, like, when they come out they show out they're dead nice people everyone I've met um, stuff. Yeah. if you'd like to send us any videos then the number is 07520 maybe someone getting fingered in a chippy or that'd be great yeah sucking just someone just... off in an Indian or something like well, that good, good, good clean fun nothing that's going to land poor old uh, Freddie in prison I don't think uh, you'd like the food yeah, <laughs> from they control your portions in there might be good for you It'd be like a little boot camp <laughs> Don't even work it out in the yard. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon it's a little vest on. I reckon they'll see me do one shit and they'll send me over to D Wing with the paedophiles. Yeah, you're getting in non swing. You're Freddy, in solitary for that. Freddie Quinn came to Shawshank in December of twenty twenty two. Didn't think much of the man. Yeah, yeah. Seemed a weird sort of fella. <laughs> I hear, uh, I, I, I hear you've been. I hear you're a man who's been known how to get things. I have been known to procure various incendiary items from time to time. Video. I need some emodium. <laughs> uh, this has been a fucking class episode, if you mate. Want to Thanks be a, for coming. If you want to be a patron, by the way, it's yeah. three quid a month. Uh, uh, don't be a cunt. Pay, give us some money. Give us your cash. Patreon.com forward slash Dead Men Talk Pod. For that, you get an extra video every single week. You get access to all the videos that we watch uh, through the Discord server. Uh, you get all the extra content that we film, all the live roast shows, Rob's Punishment set, plus loads of other good stuff as well. So please sign up to that because you help put the lights on and pay for this lovely studio. Other than that, thank you ever so much for listening. We will see you next week. Oh, the live show. Next live show is August the 17th, 17th of August. 17th, Frog and Bucket. Bucket. Come uh, see us. Other than that, we'll see you next week. Thank Fuck you very off. much. Bye-bye.